Coming to you in five, four, three, two. Welcome, everybody, to the H3 Podcast live. Remember, everybody, you remember how Bob Barker used to say, remember, neuter your dog. So I want to coin my own phrase here because I just came from the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Remember, everybody, wash your hands. (laughs) Because every time I'm in the bathroom, there's some nasty... I swear to God, people have taken dumps next to me in that bathroom and not washed their hands. Mm-hmm. So I'm coining this new phrase. And remember, everybody, wash your hands. You a big germaphobe That's boy? A good one. I'm a low tier. I'm half time germaphobe. I, I think, think I'm I a okay. Half-time germaphobe. Yeah, like I the, am. The sneezing and hand shit. That's a dead no for me though. Like even just a little <coughs> or a little cough in your hands. Really? Like I'm not. I'm not touching you. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, I don't blame you because when I sneeze and when I sneeze, that's like a water. I mean, there's so much that yeah. comes out of me. Yeah. So I don't blame you, but uh, I'm not. I'm not totally. I mean, I am a germ guy, but I also think that if you take a shit in a public (laughs) stall, you should wash your hands. You got it. Even if you go pee in there, like as soon as you walk through the threshold, you have the obligation visually to wash your hands. At least do if there's visitors in there with you, do them the courtesy of of the uh, theater of washing your hands. Yes. You know what I don't do, though? For public bathrooms, if I'm alone and if I go to the urinal, I don't wash my hands. Wait, wait, sure, wait, because what? You, wait, say it's that again. Logically, again, if, I'm again. A, if I'm alone and no one's in there, I don't wash my hands in the public bathroom. Because my rationale is like, if I'm flushing with my foot, you know? Mm-hmm. So the only thing I'm touching is like right. my zipper. Mm-hmm. What about urine? And it falls out. You get urine on your fingers? I never, if I pee on my finger, then I'll wash it off. Because that happens a lot to me. Really? I don't know why. I don't know. I got pretty good aim. <laughs> My aim's all over the place, kind yeah. of, because I'm kind of I'm like neurotic, and I force the urine out of my dick. Like, yeah. like I'll pee more than I have to, because I hate the feeling of having to pee. That's true. Do you ever and get so, like gun shy and shit though? Like in the oh, yeah. bathroom, I can't go if anyone else is in there. I've gotten better in my older age, but yeah. as like pretty much up until recently. And even sometimes recently, if there's someone next to me, yeah, I'm going to this. I'm waiting for the stall. Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. Isn't that interesting? I don't know why, because it, it doesn't tie into any other areas of confidence. Like no matter how confident you get, <laughs> just like fuck, I don't know. And they're it's like they know I'm not peeing right now. Like, right. It's been five seconds. I gotta right. get yeah. something out here. Goddamn. But. I, but I had a real complex about it, and like when I was in high school, mm-hmm. or. Yeah, well, when you're in a setting and there's lots of people there and it's, like, real quiet. Yeah. And you can definitely hear if they're peeing or not. That drives me crazy. Yeah. See, the thing is, though, too, I think I tweeted about this last week. One of my greatest assets now as I became an adult was, like, the ability to poop wherever. Like, I can just take a shit wherever. Any public bathroom. Oh, really? There could be 20 people in there. I don't care. But, like, really? peeing at a urinal, I can't do it. Because you got privacy in the shitter, at least. Yeah, I can do whatever in there. <laughs> you know... Unless you, sometimes you may get a little bit of peeking action going on. <laughs> what is, why have people not figured that out? I don't know. In some countries, they have the stalls figured out. Mm-hmm. You could engineer it beautifully, or you could just get some bris- Brussels. That's it. Just some Brussels that Brussels. cover the crack. Courtesy Brussels, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy They Brussels. have those in Brussels, actually. What's uh, Brussels? You know, like a paintbrush. The Brussels. Um, the bristles. Oops. It just covers it. Like it's on the bottom of doors and shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. You can't see through the Brussels. <laughs> it's not a big investment. No. Standard practice. Yeah, but I'll still shit. You're right. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's an interesting conversation. I think we should explore that. Mm-hmm. But first, I'd like to, first of all, introduce you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, our guest today is, if you haven't yet guessed, Gus Johnson. Also, Gustav is your full name, right? Yes, Find Gustav. Swedish Norwegian boy. <laughs> okay. And your brother's name is... Sven. Sven. Yeah. So are you guys like fresh off the boat or what? Because those are strong. I don't know. My parents just wanted names. to do some deep cuts because I've got yeah. uh, I've got my other brother's name is Thor Johnson. You too. have a Thor? Thor in your family. Yeah, we got a Thor what? Olaf Johnson, which what is the f badass does, as shit. How does he? How has he developed in life as a Thor? <laughs> um, he's a strong presence, blonde <laughs> as hell. Um, he's a big oh athlete guy. Yeah, and Sven is Sven Iver Johnson, which is dope. I really got the short end of the stick on the name game. <laughs> My Gustav is pretty cool. Gustav's, Gustav's, Gustav's cool. It's like a regal king kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah. my middle name is, it's spelled E-M-I-L. How would you assume that's pronounced? E-M-I-L? Yeah. Emil. Like Emil or Emil or something, right? Mm-hmm. It's pronounced Emil. 
<laughs> so it looks like email and it sounds like anal. And it's like, who the fuck is naming a kid Gus anal? anal. Yeah, hey, great. So whenever, that's why my, I'm kind of outed myself now on Twitter and stuff. Like, I'm Gus Danger Johnson and stuff. And whenever people would ask me growing up, like, what's your middle name? I'd just be like, Danger. And they go, ha ha, and not ask again. Because I was like, I don't want to tell kids that my name's anal. I'd be dead on the playground if I did that shit. That'd be stupid. Yeah, you want to keep that a secret. Yeah. Very let, me add, let, me, let me say something to you. What would you think about a child whose actual middle name was Danger? Was Danger? Oh, that's a good point. I'd probably hate him more. <laughs> because, and I'm sure he's not listening, so I'm not worried, but I have a cousin. I shouldn't even say, I should have said that, I should have said I know. <laughs> well, the information is so, so specific that you could never possibly know. I, ha I have a cousin who named his first son, his mm -hmm. middle name is Danger. Okay. It's not, it's not as terrible. Well, I'm setting you up, clearly, but I have a strong opinion about it. <laughs> I, I mean, think... you don't even know the guy, so you don't have to worry, but I think it's awful. That's true. Mm -hmm. You have to see him at, like, Thanksgiving or something? Well, he doesn't listen. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't listen. Fuck danger. It'll... Right? <laughs> I mean, it's like, damn. Because if my middle name was danger, I'd almost want to keep that a secret as anal. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, though, my mentality was like playground kid thing. Like, if you're danger, kids would probably be like, whoa, you know, but for real, anal, yeah. you're dead in the water. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> you're so dead in the water. Uh, um, also, want to thank our sponsors. <laughs> Cut away from us Robin Hood, Hymns, and Audible. Ah, give it up. I also want to observe. Um, Want to observe that Gus Johnson here, funny man, comedian, goofster, gaffster, musician, um, heck of a fun guy. Oh, you. I'm is, on the brink. Is on the brink of one million subscribers. If you look at the screen here, we're at 995,482. Now, one million is a, that's the big one. That's the big one. That's kind of the last milestone for a while, honestly. One. All the millions are kind of the same. Ten is is the only other one that I mean yeah. one million two you know it's like oh oh yeah. another million <laughs> dumb two million <laughs> dumbass yeah. yeah so you know what's gonna happen this is gonna go one of either way either the community is gonna go like let's get him there or they're gonna be like ah way. fuck him he's live <laughs> let's tank the numbers so <laughs> well now that you said that it's a possibility <laughs> yeah what are you gonna do right <laughs> um, so I wanted to I wanted to offer Gus the H three bump. Okay, Damn. we want to give him the H3 bump. That is the endorsement. That is the gold seal. If you do not know who Gus is, if you're not a fan here, now there it is. See the people respond to the call. We're bumping. We're bumping. Getting okay. high on H3. <laughs> so everyone who's watching, if you're not subscribed to Gus, first of all, let me just tell you, you'll be doing yourself a huge favor by <laughs> subscribing to this guy. Okay, and even if you don't like him. Oh, see, it just went back down. God that, damn it, you guys. What the hell? How did it go up and then down so Like, how did they collude? Oh, they oh, pranked there. me. There, there you go. go. It, was a, it was a mistake. No, there you go. Oh, it. oh, oh, hey, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> how is there such a swing? Um, do yourself a favor, for Christ's sake, okay? Uh, and subscribe to Gus. Let's get him the bump, guys. Let's get him to one million right now, <laughs> all right? Thanks for the bump, fellas. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll check back in on that. <laughs> Good um, shit. So... Um, you had your first anxiety attack you mentioned to me. Is that something you've talked about publicly? Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it on my own podcast, the Gus and Eddie podcast. Um, it was like a month ago or so. Uh, I haven't really talked on it too publicly. I've never really had, like, a bunch of anxiety shit to my knowledge before, but, like, stuff has been so stressful in the last few months, and I know I have super high blood pressure, and I eat pizza for, like, every fucking meal. That's some good shit, but... Yeah, we're, we're making progress. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna check back in. We're getting there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know my diet's not super good, um, and I had a lot, like, my first live show stuff was coming up, but I just got hit like a fucking ton of bricks like a month ago we were driving to go see spider-verse with some buddies and i just all of a sudden i couldn't breathe and my chest was all tight and i couldn't feel my face and like my speech was really slowed down like that i was like wow. what the fuck is going on i thought i was having a heart attack or mm. something so we went to the emergency room and mm. chest x-ray and everything they're like yeah you had an anxiety attack i was like oh, oh shit and then like the two weeks after that you kept feel it come on a little bit like oh fuck it's coming on it's mm. going on so i don't know what that's all about but <laughs> Now, probably no less. I don't think it. I mean, so interesting. Here's the thing. I've been through that. Yeah. 
It's not. It probably has nothing to do with the food. You know. You think? No. Because I it's, eat it's, some hot, high octane. Oh, shit. bro! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. That's You're talking my to your soulmate. Probably, That's my right fucking here. advice. Yeah. Dude. Let's hang out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both be dead by the age of forty. It's it's dangerous. If I hard. wasn't involved, it would eat pizza every day. That that's my thing. Either goes to me. She goes, pizza's boring. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> she goes, pizza's boring. I'm like. I Dude. don't even know you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not though. If How I... are you human? That's an inhuman thing to say. It's so boring. That is literally you are not you are a reptilian. <laughs> it's crafted. Do you like crickets? It's... Yeah. Crafted? It's What's crafted? Fucking... What do you mean crafted? There's so many little variations on the theme. It's like a Mozart symphony like, "Ooh, I get well, some pizza aoki today. Maybe some Gabriella's today, you know?" And then you put tapatio on it when it starts getting a little cooler, like Oh, you do. Oh, really? Oh, hell yeah, you got tapatio. I just dip it in ranch. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, let's not hang out. Yeah. <laughs> tapatio sounds like sacrilege. The stuff me, that we you know. order. Yeah. So there's a lot of shitty ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to find your spot. And, oh, yeah. Um, pizza aoki, that's my groove. Right there. Mm. See, you have better options because you're, you're in the city. We're in the right. valley, and the valley. There's just a lot of scammers trying really? to get your top hundred dollars for some shitty pieces. But let me ask you, what's yes. your? Well, I want to talk more about the anxiety, but let's get to really the, uh, you know, what's important here. What do you? What do you put on your pie? Put on the pie. You got. Are you pepperoni boy? I'm a pepperoni boy for the most part. I had a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I, had a feeling. I clocked you right <laughs> as you walked. You then. drink Coca Cola Classic, not diet, right? Um, I do diet now, but yeah. It, wow. I switched to diet more after the anxiety attack, so now I'm healthy as shit. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. All I, better. I, I fixed it. I do pepperoni and jalapeno for the most part. Mm. That's that good stuff. Okay. So what I I find the pepperoni to be a little too heavy and greasy okay. for me, although I love it. Mm-hmm. What I like to do is black olive is my pepperoni. You'll, ugh, lost me instantly. What the oh, that oh my the shit. God. Olives, all olives suck. Okay, okay you know, no, let's not be friends. Yeah. yeah, let's not be friends <laughs> I anymore. Lose 10, Somehow we agreed <laughs> on uh, the pizza, but when you get down to it, we are just completely. We cannot. Uh, we have to walk separate ways at this point <laughs> because oh. for me, I think black olives. Black ol- black olives mushroom is like most classic combo. Oh, oh for two. Well, and I'm feeling like really adventurous. I want black olives. I want jalapenos. We agree there. Okay. But if I really am feeling like, if I'm ordering a pe- if I'm by myself, yeah, this is the pizza I'm getting because I know nobody else wants it. Yeah. <laughs> black olives, jalapeno, and pineapple. Oh my god, that's like scientifically designed to turn <laughs> everybody else off. Well, <laughs> that's, that's a protection that's pie. That's my shit, I don't have to tell you, I love it, and I yeah. dip it in ranch. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I don't mind that one, so... I know, because it's delicious, because your, 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 you know, your gut reaction is like, Oh, oh, I only eat pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> but that's you gotta so... You try it, though. I don't know. <laughs> if I had my way, the perfect relaxation thing, and this ties back into, like, calm and anxiety shit... If I had my way, every single night of my life, if it had no health repercussions, I would have a few beers. I would just just destroy my body on pizza, watch The Office, and fall asleep 20 minutes after I got done eating. It's just, it's my groove, you know? It's yeah. perfectly calming. That shit's so unhealthy for you, though. So, I got that back. It's a shame. I wish so much. Dance to saying, I'm a psycho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at least I like pizza. Honestly. Damn. That's I don't want to. I don't want to scare you guys, but I I dr- I would probably enjoy more just eating a cucumber. Like, there's a you middle ground. I, you do know? you see what I'm dealing <laughs> with? You don't have to go pizza. To <laughs> you cucumber. see what I'm dealing with? Yeah, God, just a raw cucumber. Yeah. eat it like an elongated with salt, apple. Little with... salt on top. Ugh. God damn. <laughs> You know it's fucked up. I What's believe up? her. It's no, I'm not. I'm not lying. All right, I'm bringing I my own it. food if I ever I drop personally, by. I personally <laughs> find a uh, cucumber to by itself pretty offensive. Yeah, like just as something to eat on, like a pickle, like a just a cucumber. I find that to be pretty offensive. Yeah, that's some bad shit. I love it. Ain't about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good for you. I wish I loved cucumber more than pizza. I'd be in a lot. My life would be in a lot different situation. Than yeah, it is goddamn. Now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I I dream of a future. My utopian future is when they scientifically engineer pizza to be like healthy. <laughs> they could so easily. Like could you got they? the pieces there. You got cheese and whole grain and veggies and shit. But 
somehow. Government's holding us back. Yeah, That's what it is. it's the government. The fucking government <laughs> wrecking our. But wouldn't that? You know what I? When I really want to go crazy though, is ba- I'll put bacon on it. Yeah, bacon and, and black olives. That's see, I could swing. If the we get together. Like <laughs> I'll go bacon, and we can go jalapeno. All right, that's our mid. That's our treaty. I could. But do that's that. a solid pie, right? That's a solid pie. You're definitely gonna be hurting the next morning, but uh, <laughs> it's solid. Pepperoni. I mean, that's just as bad as anything. Yeah, that's like drinking a Duracell battery. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. When you get pepperoni, you got to get out like a paper towel and dab that shit. Yeah, that's nasty. I need a shower after a pepperoni <laughs> pie. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so. When I first started having my anxiety attacks, I was like, oh, it's because I'm, on, it's, you know, the food and I don't exercise. So I started like running and changing my diet and everything. But it's really, it's not, you know, in my opinion, because mm-hmm. I've been through this. It's, uh, there's, there's, it's other issues. Mm-hmm. It's psychological issues that <clears throat> cause that, not, not food and stuff. And my, you know, as I understand it. Yeah. No, I think I just got to lock down my schedule stuff. The thing is, like, for years, I've always just sort of barely made it by stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I barely got out of high school. I barely graduated mm-hmm. college. I think I had, like, a 2.5 when I graduated. Like, just tripped my way out the mm-hmm. door. So now that, like, I have this built-up barely-making-it mentality when I'm taking on new projects with, like, other people that really rely on me, it mm-hmm. just, just stresses mm-hmm. me out Pressure. so much more. Yeah. I, it was just so much easier, like, when you when I was just kind of fucking around back in small-town Wisconsin, just like, yeah, I'll make a meme this week. You know, I'll do that. But now it's like, shit, I have people to answer to and people rely on me and stuff. Like, yeah. fuck, I hate that so much. But It I, takes time. I couldn't it. relate more. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had a pretty rough week because um, I'm, like, Teddy Fresh has grown a lot. And mm-hmm. I'm super happy and proud, but it comes with so much work and like like you said i i'm working with people now so i gotta respond and i gotta be there and like i was thinking too this week just when we first started it was just us and like we there wasn't really and our product manager yeah it was and just we had one employee there wasn't really any stress mm-hmm. and i'm like how did we even do stuff back then now it's so complicated but now we have four full-time employees and we're like more stressed about it oh jesus but uh, but I, I I think I I went through kind of the same thing. It's like I I always see my there's like mental barriers that I kind of hit. Mm-hmm. There's like new walls that I'm always hitting, and then you you got to just push through it and get over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think therapy is good because it's hard to figure out what is actually what actually is it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's a good point. I think back, I was going to ask you too, like, what were some things that you guys did with, like, earlier on to make money and stuff? Because I was thinking, Bro. like, dude, well, I know you talked about, like, dude, I sucked dick. everything. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I sucked dick. Yeah. Like, a lot of them. OG Fire Festival mode there? <laughs> yeah, I did. Hell yeah, dude. You know what it is. Because <laughs> um, I was just thinking, like, back to, like, what I was just talking about, the easier early days. I yeah. went to just a small college in Wisconsin, UW Stout. Um, and I used to just, I felt like I appreciated little things more and like yep. little bits of money and, and projects yep. with people and stuff. <laughs> you know what I used to do? Um, it was It was a few years ago, early on, is I'd get some buddies together for a weekend. Um, and I figured out that through break.com, you remember break? Mm-hmm. That just old video sharing website, yep, like pre YouTube yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. A dude r- reached out to me from Break.com like four years ago and was just like, hey, I'd like to buy this clip or whatever for like $100 or something. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Okay. You know, when I was so, super <laughs> yeah. small, I was like, oh, boy, you know, people <laughs> want my stuff. So I did that. And then I, I circled back to them. And I was like, hey, do you guys, I could just sell you shitty clips. Like, I, I can just pump stuff out. And he's like, yeah, okay, we'll do that. He goes, no. he's, what the big thing for them was like, they would always do these prank compilations and scare videos and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, you know, you send us any of those, we'll give you like, 50 100 bucks a video that's so really what i would jail. do i would i would get some buddies <laughs> together for a weekend we get like four or five guys get a couple different cameras like an old shitty cell phone a dslr or like a sony flip cam so everything <laughs> looks different i would we, we everyone would trade out being like the person getting scared the guy scaring and the person behind the camera so we would rotate every variation of these and it would always be, for me, I was like, I don't want my fucking face out there on these horrible-ass <laughs> prank videos. Wow, so it wasn't ironic or funny. You were literally just terrible. faking wow. being scared. Yeah, I was just like, awesome. I'm going to crank these out. So it's always... You could have yeah, made awesome. a great 
good channel with that. Brand, I, well, brands were blowing up. He doesn't own that content I now. I don't apparently. own it. I sold. I said like, yep, <laughs> exclusive rights. Get. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> all you boys. Dude, that's awesome. And it, so there's probably like dozens of stuff out there that like you guys or anybody else might have seen like a that's prank, funny. shitty little scare video in a compilation, and it's like me from far away with a ball cap on or something. Wow. Like, I was undercover with those. Dude, that's awesome. So I, I just sell them off and then split it with my buddies. You know. Yeah. Uh, that beats selling drugs, which is what we were doing. Yeah. No, when we were starting to make videos on YouTube and we had like a small following, I mm. started to, I would, for example, s- sell a sticker pack that I made. And, um, Dude, we were hustling. Like really? postcards. And... Ela was basically a Chinese <laughs> sweat factor. <laughs> and I don't know if yeah. you have seen the Jeff Dunham fuck dolls. Oh, yeah, those little pink so, yeah. opera guys. Those things supported us. Back in the day, yeah. Elo, and so, and now that I think back about it, it's like I mean, we charge forty dollars, I think, dude, and it took me a lot she, of work. Elo was spending <laughs> yes. hours on that, day. and then we would we would take a bunch of them. We would walk to the post office, sit there for hours. Yeah, it oh, was yeah. like I swear yeah, to God, I would I would sit there editing, and Elo would be on the couch behind me yeah. sewing Jeff Dunham fuck. Off. But I loved it, and just the fact that I could make money. Any amount of money doing yeah. that and not like wait working as a waitress or as a babysitter, anything Miracle. other than that was amazing to me. So I was, <clears throat> oh yeah, I was like we were at home Thank together. You. We weren't going at working with some other asshole. I had a day. I worked at a day job for five years mm-hmm. at a desk job. So for me, the same. I was making like a thousand dollars a month, and I was just like, because before I quit my job, I was working on YouTube a bit. Yeah. So I was making like a thousand dollars a month when I quit my job. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, mm, <laughs> that's my rent. Baby. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know. That's I, all of it. I miss that stuff. Like going yeah. through high school and college, like I just worked in food service a lot. I was a pizza guy for a while. Pizza uh, guy. Pizza delivery dude. Back Hell yeah. It's see that's why it's <laughs> it's genetic at this point. Uh, I was a pizza delivery guy in the meth-producing capital of the entire United States. What'd they order on their pies? They ordered, well, I don't remember what they ordered, but they tipped like goddamn kings. <laughs> Did they? I genuinely, what? all the time, I would deliver to, like, meth dens. Did you ever get crystals? In I was I was offered drugs a couple times as tips. Yeah, like little bags of crystals. Like, you want to and... smoke some meth? Yeah, I was just like, oh, my boss would probably <laughs> not be. <laughs> That's funny. No, dude, it was, it was rough. I One time I delivered to a house that had just been broken into, and it was clearly the guys that broke into the house that ordered the pizza too uh, oh my god yeah cause I'm from a town of like a thousand Man, people um, that's next level yeah Whoa. it was fucking scary <laughs> so they went out there and the, the girl that was doing the phones when she when she took the delivery she goes like oh that's weird they asked for your full name I was like really was it like a relative I don't know so I just gave it to them hold on they <laughs> what? Or- wait hold on hold on they ordered the pie Yes. And then ask for the delivery guy's full name or yes. what? Yes. Okay. Oh That's what they God. did. They said, okay. what's the delivery guy's full name? And she goes, oh, Gus Johnson. <laughs> so I was just oh, like, wow. yeah, come on. <laughs> so, but I mean, I wasn't tipped off yet. This was way out of town. So I'm going out there and it was one of the only houses on this road. It was January and I drive up and there's a running like pickup truck in the front yard. The front door was busted off its hinges. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so I walk up to the front door and it's like they look like the two dudes in Home Alone. <laughs> there's a guy with like a with a jacket on and the fingerless gloves and he was hacking up dining room tables and like starting a fire in the in the fireplace with like furniture and shit. What? So I like walk was up it and cold? I yeah, it was fucking oh. freezing. So he just was like starting a fire in this cabin. And like I walk up and I just knock and say, hey, Pete's pizza guy here. And he stands up. He's like, hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Got, got the pizza. Oh, okay. He goes, hey, Dan, pizza. Or whatever the dude's name was. So this guy comes around and he goes, hey. And the total is like, I don't know, $15. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, what do I owe you? 15 bucks? He goes, okay. He pulls open a backpack and he pulls open a big like gallon Ziploc bag of just crumpled hundred dollar bills. Oh my god! And he reaches in there and he pulls out like a fifty, which is you know like thirty five dollar tip or whatever. That's huge. And he goes like, uh, "Here you go, keep the change, Gus Johnson." Oh my! So it's just like here, bitch. Like, don't fucking rat me out. I Why would name. they even bother wow. to get a pizza? Like, <laughs> yeah, like bring your Hello. own fucking food. You're yeah, gonna break go pick into a something house. up, dum dum. <laughs> Did or you get the easy man? Starve for a minute. Like, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> wow. But, but you were probably so you were probably equal parts stoked and scared. Oh my yeah. God. I was like, hey, money, but also they know my Don't name and me. location. Yeah. Because it's like, what if they get found out? They're gonna blame it on the pizza guy. <laughs> what yeah. an easy scapegoat. Like and but also, man, 
That's a oh, wild scene. I wonder if that's their plan B, just to blame it on the pizza guy. It could be. I mean, if you're looking for someone to kill, it's easy to off a pizza kid, so. It wasn't us. It was Gus Johnson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some of the money. Check the serial code. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that should happen all the time. You know, like you'd you'd go up and there were times where you delivered little shacks that didn't even have a fire number and like dudes would come out and it was honestly it looked like breaking bad. Like they had full hazmat suits hanging outside the door. They'd come to the door in a wife beater and a cigarette and it smelled like chemical fire. Incredible. Rottweilers <laughs> in the background. Like that should happen all the time. Those were oh the good God. days. Those are the good days. <laughs> See, that's what I miss. <laughs> no, but I think I agree that everyone's got the good days. Yeah. And I'll tell you, even your fans, they look back on our, there was the golden days. Actually, we have several golden day phases yeah. for different yeah. fans. And even I look back and I reminisce, but, you know, um, you know, sometimes you just got to have a slice and enjoy present moment yeah i have a slice and just be nice that's how it do be no i used to uh, are you, you feeling are you feeling like you're missing uh, what is it like the content is it the vibe what is it that you're missing about the old days the thing is i and i think a lot of people might agree hopefully uh that in the last six months to a year especially i have felt the proudest of my content i think it's the best that it's been in the four years that i've been doing this kind of full-time ish um but I just I miss I miss the peace of mind and the simplicity and stuff. The you know, simplicity. it was so Carefree. easy. Yeah. It was fucking no easy. expectations. Yeah, like even like going through college, like right. I had about a year and a half of college left when that first big adpocalypse hit. You know, and I was maybe off of YouTube and Patreon and shirt stuff. I was maybe making like seven hundred bucks mm -hmm. a month. But then it cost me two hundred dollars for yep. rent, everything included in my college house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, I get a few You're hundred dollars. Yeah. Like yeah. I can go buy ten Roma pizzas for eight bucks. You know, like, and I'm among good. your friends, you are probably the richest. The yeah, richest but, hey guys, I got this round of two dollar shots. <laughs> yeah. What? You know, yeah. like every, it's just everything was dope. You know, I used to, uh, I used to when we moved out. Uh, for the college end of the semester shit, you know, the dorms all have these donation bins at my college um, and all the building managers would tell people, they said, hey, if you want anything out of here, you just dig in, you go for it, you know. Um, but I felt embarrassed, like going in, like taking the food and the electronics and stuff. So what I used to do is I would I would go to sleep at 8 p.m. and I would wake up at three in the morning. I'd grab my rollerblades, go down to campus with a duffel bag and a backpack, and I would be listening to just like podcasts and shit. And I would I would fill up my duffel bag full of food and electronics and stuff. And then I would flip the electronics in the daytime, be like, Hey, I, someone want a box fan? Five bucks? Or like, and then I had like a year's worth of food and shit. You know, <laughs> like that. That was that was pure bliss for me, dumpster diving and stuff yeah. like that, and just making memes whenever, making twenty five dollars on a video or something. Like, I love that. Let me ask you this, because I I often think this to myself. Yeah. There's a time like when me and Eli were living back in Santa Cruz that we think back and we have that vibe of like, oh man, that was just the best, most carefree vibe. But then I have specific memories that I remember, and I'm like, oh wait, we were miserable then. <laughs> You know, yeah, you, kinda, you romanticize, you're ma yeah, yeah. You're romanticize totally and definitely. it's it's easier to romanticize too when you look at a situation that seems like it has fewer consequences because you're mm -hmm. like, what happened if I messed up then? You know, yeah. I'll just go wash dishes again at the campus cafe stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> but also I was fucking miserable. I was waking up at five a.m. making omelets for shitty college kids and yeah. you know failing all my classes, mm -hmm. having to beg <laughs> professors for grades and stuff. Like, dude, I once told a professor. Yuck. Oh, this is, I once told uh, someone that I, oh my God, dude. This was Isaac's idea, by the way. I was going to okay. flunk out of college for the second time. Yeah. And I. going to flunk? I mean, fail out of, out of university. Whole college. And I told them I just found out that my, this is so fucked up that yeah. I did this. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember this. <laughs> I told them that I just found out my girlfriend has <laughs> HIV. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was Isaac's idea. Yes. <laughs> he said to me, that thought never crossed my mind. He goes, you know, I have a friend who did this, and he, they got an extension. Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And so I went, and I sat in front of the counselor or whatever, and I was like, yeah, I know I'm failing all my classes, but... 
Oh my god! I just found out my girlfriend has HIV. Oh, that's a rough one. That you know, again, the middle ground. <laughs> you went full fucking cucumber on that one. You could have found like a hot dish or something in between on your. Oh, no. You well, know, hey, my dog died life. or something. <laughs> like what the hell? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, that was I. That was the awful thing. I, love I just that remember that cucumber is the yeah yeah. Thing. Cucumber. Yeah. You went full. I went full cucumber. <laughs> I had a couple of those shameful ones though where like that's so I'm embarrassed to admit that story I, I hate it like the biggest thing for me was like I, I knew going through college I was so fucking terrible at stuff especially like getting an art degree I can't draw I can't paint nothing is that I what could, you, you studied yeah like they, they hung it in what front of me what kind of art like that, fine well it was when I went there they were just like oh come to this this is the only film degree in Wisconsin mm-hmm. that you can get this mm-hmm. not at the UW mm-hmm. Madison yeah. like yeah you're gonna be the next Spielberg and shit <laughs> but then they go oh 80% of your classes are going to be drawing and painting oh interesting I was like I went to my first audio engineering class like audio design when I was a junior in college and we sit down the first day the professor goes okay so we're gonna be working primarily with audacity in this class what it's like, it's a fucking free program audacity. the fucking audacity of him to suggest that shit but like <laughs> it's just it was a it was a joke of a film degree met so many wonderful people I was solely responsible for my shitty grades, take full responsibility. Yeah. But I just like I didn't want to draw and paint. I couldn't do that shit. Yeah. So there were so many times where it's the end of the semester and it's like in one of my like drawing classes or something, I go to the professor and I hadn't turned in a single thing all year. And I just like I don't know what to tell you. Like I fucked up. I have AIDS. Like <laughs> I have AIDS. Ethan's girlfriend has AIDS. <laughs> um I was just like, I don't know what to tell you. Like don't want to sound like an ultimatum at all. The reality is if I fail this class, I don't know when I can fit it in again. I might have to drop out of college. I'm sorry to put that on you. Whoa. Like, genuinely. Yeah, I did, I did do that once. And I wasn't even doing it manipulatively. Like, genuinely, I was like, wow. I can't take this class again. I fully fucked up. Help. <laughs> you know, I had no substance. Huh. And they passed me. B they plus. just gave you a pity? A B plus? I turned that's a, one That's drawing. a cuucumber move. There was, they give you a was, C minus. That was full cuke. No, it was, uh, the, the man was wonderfully nice. He said, if you can really, like, power out this next week and turn in some stuff, then I will evaluate your situation. So, like, I did something, you know. Wow. But, uh, you just, I felt. See, that's the difference. Brutal honesty and and brutal, uh, <laughs> a brutal lie. Yeah, that, that hurt his shit like a shitload. Because, again, it's like, I'm not pretending to be good at any of this stuff, but I feel so embarrassed, you know, because I'm a proud person to some extent, but you have to just crawl on your hands and knees yeah. and be like, I fucked up, please have mercy. You I know? guess it's, you know, yeah, you, we, I, I had the same college experience, man. Mm-hmm. It was like, I had to do what I had to do <laughs> to survive. Yeah. But I had like crushing, my anxiety was like, I, I was, I was barely oper, I, I could barely operate through college. So it's a miracle that I, as you say, stumbled, got, and yeah. by the way, I went to UC Santa Cruz, not exactly the most illustrious of the schools, but it's as equally shitty as you described really? yours to be. <laughs> yeah. Man, ours was not, yeah. I like the people there. You know, I, I think the people are what makes any situation. And one thing that I really benefited from was the copious amount of, like, free gear and stuff that you could check mm-hmm. out from the mm-hmm. library. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I did three years of a YouTube channel, and I didn't buy a camera. I didn't buy a mic, nothing. Because I just yeah. go to the library, and they're like, yeah. That's awesome. That's they got how we started, too. I used to borrow <laughs> camera from school. Yeah. We didn't know how to use it, and our, all oh of our first God. videos had like, crazy interlaced because lines. It looked like yeah. shit. Yeah. The cameras they had were, like, the complicated ones. Not, really? Nothing small and simple. And we had no idea, so it was all wrong. Yeah, like, everything. Yeah, that was mine too, because it was like I wasn't learning shit in my camera class, <laughs> yeah, so I was just yes. guessing. Yeah. I'm, I probably have like at least five older videos that I shot as a sketch, and I didn't know about like manual and autofocus, yeah. mm-hmm. where I would check out a camera and be like, "Come on, baby, I hope this lens isn't blurry." Oh mm-hmm. shit! Well, guess I got to shoot on it. I didn't know about focus, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So just I figuring guess stuff out. We had like the white balance on auto, and I didn't know. And we would record inside the house, and mid like scene, it would start changing completely all the colors. And we were like, "Why is it doing that? Why is it? Mm-hmm. It went from orange to blue. Like, what is going yeah. on?" <laughs> because of course, everything you're making is a masterpiece. You think you're like, "Oh, dude, I was gonna be so famous from this." Yeah, and it's and just <laughs> ass. <laughs> with it's like each, the worst thing ever. With each step up, too, you notice one thing and disregard the blatant bad shit. So once I figured out the focus stuff, I was like, "Whoa." Oh, this looks professional, and that's like the white balance was on like cloudy. <laughs> yeah. Everything was fucking blue, yeah. and it was like, yeah, but it's crisp. The audio 
feels like so bad. Yeah. 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 All right, well, let's throw it to a quick break. I am going to go eat a bunch of bagels and cream cheese. Mm-hmm. And we will be right back. So, guys, do not go anywhere. Oh, let's, well, we're going to oh, check in we, on the sub too. Yeah, so, right, yeah, right, make sure right. to keep that going. But are we we'll, bumping? Yeah, we'll be right back. We'll check in on that Hell after yeah. this right. break. Thank you, guys. Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos all commission-free. While other brokers charge up to $10 for every trade, Robinhood doesn't charge any commission fees, so you can trade stocks and keep all the profits. Plus, there's no account minimum deposit needed to get started, so you can start investing at any level. The simple, intuitive design of Robinhood makes investing easy for newcomers and experts alike. View easy-to-understand charts and market data and place a trade in just four taps of your smartphone. You can also view stock collections, such as 100 Most Popular. With Robinhood, you can learn how to invest in the market as you build your portfolio, discover new stocks, track your favorite companies, and get custom notifications for price movements so you never miss the right moment to invest. And here's where it gets real, guys, because Robinhood is giving our listeners free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help you build your portfolio to Today. That is insane. Okay, if you've ever been interested in investing or trading, you want to learn, Robinhood's the place to do it. Sign up at h3podcast.robinhood.com. You get a free stock on Robinhood. You're going to learn what the heck is actually going on here on the stock market. If you're good, you're new, you're original, whatever, I don't know, just get on, get on over there. Look, guys, sexual performance issues are more common than you think. One in four guys suffers from ED, but it can be treated. ED, that's when your dick stays limp and never gets where you want it to be. Okay, over 25% of new ED cases are guys under 40. But why do we turn to weird solutions like eating rhino tusks? I mean, the Chinese people are literally turning animals extinct in Africa trying to get their dicks hard. We don't need that. We have actual medicine, okay, because now we've got... 4 a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. 4 provides convenient access to U.S. doctors online and real medicine dispensed from American pharmacies. Uh, Sildenaf, I don't know how to say this, Sild- Sildenafil, the active ingredient in Viagra can be prescribed for men online and delivered right to your door. It's completely confidential and discreet. No more awkward in-person doctor visits or long pharmacy lines. You can save hours by going to forhims.com. Being your best means performing your best. It's hard. <laughs> Made easy. Uh, also featured in GQ, Men's Health, Esquire, Playboy, just to name a few. If you want your dick to be hard... Because it's too soft. You get your first month for just five bucks. We'll get you started for just five bucks while supplies last. See the full website for full details and safety information. Uh, this could cost hundreds if you went to a doctor or pharmacy. So go to forhims.com slash H3ED. Yes, that's H3ED. F O R H I M S dot com slash H3ED to get started for five bucks. In short, we're going to make sure your dick is hard as a rhino tusk. And you don't need to eat a rhino tusk to make that happen. Forums.com slash H3D. Reading is one of the most important, beautiful things that we as human beings can do to enrich our minds and our souls. But we don't all have time to read books. And that's what's so special and beautiful about audio books is that you can now multitask in this busy world. If you're exercising, playing video games, relaxing, working, you can pop on an audiobook and enrich yourself while being productive. That's a beautiful thing. It makes us smarter and more connected. There's no better place to listen. On, then on Audible. Audible members choose three titles every month. One audiobook plus two Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else. Just go to A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash H3 podcast or text H3 podcast to 500 500 and browse their unmatched selection of audio content. Now, the book that I'm going to recommend to you guys here is Catch-22. If you haven't read this book, if you don't know anything about this book, it's one of these American classics that it's like I talk about Kurt Vonnegut a lot. It's very similar style. It's about the insanity of war, but it's just this unbelievable black comedy that is both hilarious, enriching, eye-opening. There's a new Hulu uh, show coming out later this year about Catch-22 that I'm super excited to watch. But if you've never read this book, it, I mean, it's it's a pres- it's a beautiful gem, and you are just going to absolutely love it. So fantastic. You can also listen 
for free. Start listening with a 30-day trial and get your first audio book plus two Audible Originals for free. When you go to audible.com slash h3 podcast or text h h 3 p o d uh, C A S T two five hundred five hundred, and you can listen for free. To Ethan, say hello. Hello. You're live. Wait, <laughs> what kind of <laughs> counting was that? Dad? There was no count. <laughs> if you count it, you don't. You don't say. We didn't Ethan hear you. Say hello. <laughs> I didn't hear you counting it, in. I don't know what happened. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. So That's we were... Good. You can verify. I can't mm. right? All right. They're nodding. Are we live? You're live. Okay. Is this happening. thing on? It's it's on. How do I get to the live sub feed here? <laughs> How the F? Why? I thought this was easy to do. Oh, they can just send you on Discord. Yeah. Guys, welcome back. This was an ex- thrilling, uh, thrilling, thrilling. Got right back into it. We did it. Yeah. I washed my hands during the break as a professional courtesy, nice. too. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, no worries. You know, I was just th- the one time I will sometimes not wash my hands, but I feel like you should always. Mm-hmm. If you're at a situation where there's no door, like at a theater, sometimes they don't do the door. They just have the wall. Yeah. That's my favorite bathroom situation. Oh, you just go out. And, and you know, you'll have a clean pee and you're back in eat, putting your penis hands back in that communal popcorn bin. <laughs> you know? That's a good point. <laughs> so... Well, sometimes you can maneuver it so you don't even touch the old ween, you know? You just give a little... You just do the... You rest the penis on the belt line. Yes. Yeah. And and trust that the repercussions don't make it be like an open hose. I um, I love that. And you know what really grinds my gears? Ooh, oh, boy. I gotta the... sit back for this one. <laughs> okay, so sometimes, at even at fancy restaurants, you'll see this. Uh-huh. Bathroom with a door, no oh, paper yeah. towels to open the door. Oh, that They'll is. just have an air dryer. Yeah. It's like, hello, I'm at a nice restaurant, and you think I am going to touch that door handle? There's no way. I don't. I haven't used an air is this dryer. A Taco Bell. Probably four fucking years. I haven't used an air dryer. It doesn't Nobody do anything. Nobody uses air dryers. They're germy, and you you still Give get wet. Me a fucking paper towel if there's a door. Plus in LA they don't even they don't have the clean paper towel dispenser. You guys have a good one, but most of the restaurants are like, let's just throw a bunch of paper towels. <laughs> <in."> <laughs> so then, so it's just like we got to be a good sketch for you. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't get it because that's that's good. LA is so eco friendly. They're like, oh, we can't do straws, but if you go take a shit, you're gonna use ten paper towels to wipe because how can you separate ten of them? You know? Yeah. Hey, is this thing? Up? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, come on. Um, Oh, we were we were discussing at the beginning of the show. Yeah, you got that the link. Gus here is here. We, we're making some progress. Are we bumping. We're yeah, bumping. We're bumping. Not, not that asshole. No, <laughs> fuck you, dude. So, guys, we are trying to give Gus here the H three bump. Come on, there's enough of you watching. Let's show Gus what the H three army is all Whoa. about. Let's lock and load, baby. Oh, militarizing Let's not it. walk towards public buildings. With our weapons, let's walk to YouTube subscribe button, not headquarters. Subscribe <laughs> button. Yeah. That's on your page in your house, not a physical location. That's but good. keep the guns out. Hit that subscribe button and show them what the H of the Army is all about. <laughs> right? Yeah. You endorse that? I endorse that. Good. I think. I'll have yeah, my, yeah. my legal team pick through that <laughs> statement. Yeah. All right. Um, let me ask you a question here. Yeah. Between Chris Brown... Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. Fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking tough one. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm in so heavy to Chris Brown already, you know, like with the fuck Chris Brown thing. I did a video on him. Um God, I don't know. I might have to go kill Chris Brown just because I have such a history built up on him. And like even before the video I made a few months ago, like for years still I was like talking about that shit publicly. It just it baffles me so much how he has eluded any like public punishment or even like corporate punishment. Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what bugs me the most, regardless of the severity of each of those people's crimes. Arguably L- R. Kelly's seems to be the most like heinous crime shit, but like hmm. I'm just in so deep for Chris Brown. Well, Chris Brown, I agree, because his is like, w- with R. Kelly and Michael Jackson, people debate it. Yeah. With R. Kelly, or with Chris Brown, we all agree, he beat the shit out of Rihanna. Right, it's not even debatable. <laughs> so, I mean, we've all seen the pictures. He fucking, like, choked her to de- nearly to death. Yeah, and even if it, again, 
just to say, oh, just that one thing. That is the worst possible thing. That should be a career ender. But he has had now 10 years during his professional career where he has repeatedly been, like, assaulting people. And, right. Like, you can look up. It's fucking public record. That's right. <laughs> But all this, it's 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 sickening how many fans he still has. And, and just at a quick Passover, it seems like most of the social media accounts that are like, fuck you, Breezy for Life, stream undecided. It seems like most of them seem to be women. And I'm like, oh, what yeah. the That's fuck is so going weird. on? Like, With women? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't get it at all. Well, pretty much right after it happened on Twitter, there was people like, Chris Brown could beat me and I wouldn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I... What? <laughs> there are so many people. Again, I in, I outline in Dude, the video. Singers. <sighs> there. The thing is, yeah, he's a hottie with if a body. I could sing. <laughs> he can man. dance. If I could only sing, I can dance. Yeah. <laughs> but if only I could sing. Ooh, I. You could <clears throat> you could rap though. I don't know. That's true. You got that going for you. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, style. he's fucking hot. He can dance, and he's a good singer. And he just gets a pass because of that. I don't get it. I do if you're if you've got the triple threat, you can beat up people. Yeah, you and can do even it. diddle little penises too, if that's what you're into. It's I don't know. Sick. It's yeah. dope. Yeah. Sick. I wish I had it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but I hear you. I I totally agree with you about Chris Brown. That guy's been a scumbag for so long. It just I think more than anything, even if you're a diehard fan of Chris, you got to step back and go, "Holy shit, how did he survive me too?" And yeah. not yeah. even survive it, but how did like no one talk about him he's during like, there? He's like, I, mean, no. I still sit in collabs all the time with other people and yeah. like I was like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, he's collabing with everybody. Yeah. He's winning awards. He's performing. He's selling albums. And, well, he's like, me too. He's like, I didn't do anything sexual. I just beat the shit out of people. Yeah. <laughs> so many of his own fans, too. Like, I, they have a plethora of defenses for him, too. You know, like, you just you just hate him. Or, like, you're just being racist. Or, like, you're just right? jealous and stuff, too. Yeah. Jealous? Yeah, that's the shit. But one, like, of them, the one of them, too, is for the Rihanna situation. <laughs> so I've seen so many people defend him and go, like... You don't know. She had a death grip on his balls. Oh, that's okay? amazing. He was defending himself. Uh, like, were you kidding me? Come on. I love that, that she had a death grip a death on his grip. balls. Where did that originate from? Is that just a rumor? Um, People are extracting different things from the published police report, you know? Like, it's pretty in-depth uh, mm -hmm. about her, like, fighting back, you know? And it's just, like, people are like, bro, there was fighting on both sides. It's like, <laughs> yeah, she was getting killed. Let me ask you this. What? Somebody grabs your balls and squeezes as hard as they can. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Probably hit him in the face once. Oh, you do? See, I would think that you would go for the hand. Oh, that's pulse. true. You'd be like, oh, shit. Yeah. And he's much stronger than she is. With my luck, though, I'd go for, like, full hand <laughs> punch, and i just <laughs> knock myself oh. right in the ball. So I know I'd do that. But I think instinctively it would yeah. be one of those. Oh, one of the you reach probably, backs, yeah. And then... You know, then he would choke her to death. Yeah, that's true. It's just too calculated to be like, oh, you have a death grip on my balls. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. It doesn't make sense. I love death <laughs> grip and balls. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that image. Yeah. I don't know. So, okay, so we're killing Chris Brown. So now you have um, Michael Jackson and R. Kelly, when you have to fuck and when you have to marry. Oh. Boy, talk about a lose, lose, lose situation here for all. Well, win, lose, lose if you're killing one of them. Um, I think you probably. Fuck Chris or fuck R. Kelly, just because he's got that sexual energy. <laughs> yeah, marry Michael. I feel like if it came yeah, down, that's exact. That's, that's exactly good. Yeah, good. if it yeah. came down to fisticuffs, at the very least, I could defend myself against Michael. <laughs> I feel like, dude, Michael is huge. By the way, he's a big guy. He's or what? huge. He's I, no, I saw him because he's he's transformed his body, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't expect it. I saw him in a video. He's got like massive hands. Really? He's like a huge guy. How tall is he? He's tall. It's not. Huge. Huge, no, but his hand, he had like, he's built like a big ass black dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a I tall don't boy. think so. Michael, <laughs> Michael Jackson height. I just um, looked it up. He's a uh, five nine. Oh, 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 come on. That's not tall. <laughs> that's not tall. You just saw him next to kids. Ethan. I'm a tall boy. I'm yeah, six one. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> fuck Michael Jackson up. <laughs> he's fit though. He's like Bruce Lee. He's like a little ninja. Yeah. That guy can dance that's on true. your grave. He's probably got Next to a little kid brass ripped. knuckle under the uh, gloves, too, dude. He'd, he'd fuck me up. Man, I thought he was like, oh, man, I <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> I'm looking at pictures of his hands. It's the platform shoes. He seems so much taller, <laughs> I'm sure, you know? 
<laughs> Plus, with the gloves, your hands look bigger in the gloves. Like, right. everything's going for him image-wise for making him look to be a big fella. This <laughs> might be the weirdest thing I've done. I'm looking at pictures of Michael Jackson's His hands, hands do look pretty big. <laughs> I <laughs> saw them, that? and I was like, dude, that guy could, f- you know. Are they degloved? Well, yeah, degloved. <laughs> you want to see his hands? Yeah, don't search degloved hand, though. <laughs> yeah, no. Just <laughs> Michael Jackson oh, hands. They do look pretty large. Like, I mean... Is he doing the ball gazer right there? <laughs> this one? Boom, gotcha. Original. That's where it came from. Yeah. Yeah, they look pretty big. But also his face is tiny. It's it's hard normal. to tell. They look normal here. <laughs> I don't know what I saw. They were like bulging when I saw them. But what I thought was like... You know what I want? I thought was like, dude, he probably... Like, that. That's, they look bigger yeah, there. Yeah, that's a big... That's like a big hand. What's those vitiligo hands down there? Are those his, or is that just another person with vitiligo? That's not him. That's not him? No way. Because that's why he dyed his skin, right? Is because he was starting to get that, or... I mean, sure, yeah. Says, right? yeah. That's, that's what he says, says. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, but, anyway. How do you bleach your entire body, too? Like, is That's it a, a new procedure. Is it a tub? Like, do you just get in a tub or something? I don't know. <laughs> I think they must have scrubbed his skin. Really? Oh, sounds painful. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't do it. Guys, Gus, we're at we're at nine nine seven. Come on, H three Army, load up those shotguns. We're getting there. H three Army, load up those. What are the weapon that everyone's contentious about? The M AR fifteen. AR, load up those AR fifteens. H three Army, get a little H three bump stock. <laughs> Let's get an H three bump stock over here. And load up those guns. Let's get those arsenals and march on mm-hmm. that. YouTube subscribe, <laughs> <laughs> YouTube subscribe button. YouTube subscribe button. We'll get there. We'll get Stream it. shot off. Yeah, I'm, <sighs> we shouldn't joke about the. Uh, that's f- so. About I, I like that, and I think that Michael Jackson would be more of a tender monog. As if you've watched this documentary, you know he favored monogamy, even with small children. Oh yeah, that's. What a weird <laughs> toss up of like yeah. just things I'm gonna check down the chart. So like that, that was good. That was a good choice. And then R. Kelly's got that sexual energy. You'd fuck like crazy. Yeah. He would be a mad lover. He'd chain you up, he'd shit on you, he'd piss on you, all this stuff <laughs> I don't I'm know. sure you're into. I don't know if I could survive that ride. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're bumping now, boys. Okay. Hell yeah. Um would you rather watch um both he- uh, ridiculousness, every episode of ridiculousness forever? Yeah. Or Bohemian Rhapsody reaction videos forever. That's, I hate them both. <laughs> um, fuck. <laughs> Probably ridiculousness. Yeah, there's a little more variety. Yeah, there's more variety. <laughs> I, you know what shocks me is there's still people doing that Bohemian Rhapsody stuff, too. For real? Like, yeah, it's recent stuff. And it is so weird. Like, I just don't understand, but they're getting clicks because a lot of the ones I'm seeing now are like, I got 600 subs. There's 20K views. Like, that's getting pushed to people. It's incredible. Yeah. But, but I think that there's just a demand. People want to watch people. But so what I've, what you've pointed out and I've mm-hmm. since also noticed is that it's mostly black people. It is. To, yeah. And so I wonder, is it possible that, the black folks never got the memo about Queen. I don't know what it, what it is. Maybe it's maybe it's a pop culture divide. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe it's just other. Maybe a few like black YouTubers started doing that. They saw success, and then other people copied it. I really don't know mm-hmm. what the what the Probably. reason is. And I should know because clearly I'm very uh, equipped to talk about black culture. <laughs> here, Absolutely. So yeah. I don't fucking know what it is, but people are still getting clicks like mad. So. Oh, that was a that was a fantastic video for people who don't know. You made a video. You noticed a trend on YouTube of people reacting mm-hmm. to Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. And acting as if they had never heard of Queen or Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. And reacting doing, it for the first time. They're doing shit where they're like, "This is from this band called like uh, Quen." Yeah. I don't know. It's like, like all of a sudden dude. you forgot how to read too. Yeah. I. The thing is, like, too, I always get pissed. Like when when friends and stuff do the shit where you mention a movie and you say, "I haven't seen it." You haven't seen that. Mm-hmm. Like that is re- that is reserved for so few things. You know, like mm-hmm. maybe like you haven't seen Star Wars. You haven't seen Back to the Future. Like that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but and Queen. Queen is one of those things where, yeah. like, I haven't yeah. heard of Queen. You haven't heard of Queen? Right. Like, yeah. I don't care if you can't <laughs> list a song. Like, That's almost on. impossible. Yeah, like, come on. Yeah. Every department store has got But a especially song. Bohemian Rap, you probably, that song might even be more famous than they are. Honestly. Yeah, even just the title of it. And, yeah. It's just fucking stupid. But I love, <laughs> so e- even if they, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and say, okay, 
you don't know who Queen is and you don't know what Bohemian Rhapsody is. The way they react to it. It's still like, <laughs> oh, oh shit. have you ever yeah. reacted to a song like that? <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> like, dude, They'll let chill like out. two minutes go by and they don't say anything too. It's just them. And they'll switch to a different part. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? They're not able to monetize that, right? I They're, can't it's imagine. It's all getting claimed. So I can't the imagine. license holder is just like, I love this Love band. this Love, phenomenon. love, love. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb. I just got claimed on a video yesterday for a song that wasn't even in the video. It's just like, it's fucking UMG again, you know? So, yeah, YouTube, dude, they're so annoying. So they have a problem. Yeah. Was there a song at the timestamp? Uh, there was. It was a different song, but it was, but it was because it was in my video. Did SNL steal my idea? And I used a couple chunked up segments. And during the part, it was uh, a Jonah Hill singing like "Go Go Go Joseph" from mm -hmm. Jesus Christ Superstar. So it was the wrong song, wrong artist, wrong publisher, and they claimed <laughs> it. And it wasn't the timestamp didn't even line up with the part that he was singing a song in the video. So just like in every way, it was inaccurate. Like what the fuck mm -hmm. is going so on? It. I talked to my guy about this. Yeah. Apparently, it is a real claim. He goes, I'm like, I'm like, I disputed this. It's the wrong claim. Everything's wrong about this. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, well, there's a song in the video. So obviously, you should just use your brain to know that yeah. it's just <laughs> written wrong. Yeah. I was like, sorry? Your whole system tells, like. <sighs> I don't get it. But I will tell you this. Yeah. If you had a song appear in a clip that you were using, then that should be fair use. Yeah, it should be. Did you dispute it? I haven't yet. It happened a few hours ago. Oh, it just happened. Yeah, it just happened, but Mother I'll do it. Effort. Those fuckers. It wasn't even like NBC that claimed it. It was UMG again. So. Yeah, those guys are the best. Love them. I love them a lot. Yeah. UMG, it, sound, it almost sounds for Oh My God. There you go. That was probably their business <laughs> model. <laughs> it's like, I know how to get people. <laughs> huh. Um... <clears throat> I hate ridiculousness. Yeah. I hate his giant laptop set. I can't. Yeah, it makes it's... me want to die. I want to. I want to take the laptop. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, clip shows ended as soon as Tom Bergeron walked out the door of AFV. Dropped the mic. It should have been done. Wait, who? Tom Bergeron, guy. Come on, AFV host. He now does Dancing with the Stars. Dude, all I uh, Bob Saggy boy. The sag town was my <laughs> one and only. I suppose. What's his name? Tom Bergeron. That's quite a name. Berg. I don't even know how to spell that. There it is. There he goes. Thank you, Google. True OG. Look at that oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Look at that man. This, doesn't this guy have something to do with like to catch a predator or something? He does look like he current day like, uh, Chris Hansen. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> Chris Hansen's back now, by the way. Man, I have I find I think Chris Hansen must be one of the most evil dudes in the world. Why? Like I know <laughs> because first of all, the guy. First this of all, show he, is kind of crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> that show is just like <laughs> the bottom of society. Everything society has to offer. Yes. I mean, my God. Well, first of all, Chris Hansen acts like... It's like, dude, you're not a fucking saint. That's true. Like... F what if he's hiding in plain sight? Uh, and also he got in trouble for adultery. He treated it on his wife And I know that's not the same as fucking an underage person But it's like if you're gonna act like the moral arbiter like oh don't fuck kids <laughs> Like that's such a big deal then don't <laughs> cheat on your wife. Mm -hmm. Just fuck women <laughs> women, women. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think he kickstarted his show and it's coming back online now. Yeah. Yeah, I've been saying it because he over. he's just I don't think it's he has the golden right goose, now. baby. Yeah, but I it's mean, it's so crazy that they can make a show out of this moment of that person like <laughs> losing his life. Yeah, that's that's the and put it on YouTube and it's trending or whatever. It's it, like <laughs> it's so weird because it's like obviously I, I buy into it too. I watch that shit like crazy. It's fa it's, fa it's phenomenal. You it's can't phenomenal. look so away. Fascinating. It's but phenomenal. Even knowing that these people did some of the most heinous acts in society that they potentially have ruined other people's lives before this and stuff, you can't help but see them in that hot seat and then just feel horrible that like a life is ending. Again, no pity, but you're yeah, just like watching. No, it's just that's the end of your life. Because this shouldn't be a show. This shouldn't be for my entertainment. It's so this weird. person is and like losing his life in front of me. And you have like little like, girl actors there who are like, "Hey, come in. Did you bring the beer and the yeah. condoms?" I don't know how anyone believes that they're like. <laughs> <laughs> They're like this twelve-year-old girl, and it's just it's like, like this twenty-five, this twenty-five-year-old this theater student. <laughs> now, the recent episode I saw, it was a little girl. They actually got a little girl. Oh, wow, really? And the guy tried to hug her. 
Oh, she was yeah. like, no, no, no. I don't like that. <laughs> and, I didn't and like they it. They even yeah. got cameras afterwards in the police station. The police are in on it. They were interrogating him, and there was fucking cameras in the interrogation room. That's got to be some like, kind how of. How is it yeah. even legal? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> we're asking you specifically. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll hit up my boy. <laughs> my boy, C. Hanson. How did there, you yeah. approve this show? <laughs> um, but I feel like there's some cases that are on the fringe. Okay, mm-hmm. and I'm not. And I, first of all, I'm not trying to defend people. I'm not trying to defend these predators, but what is wrong with having sex with kids? <laughs> what? Back to you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, let's say sometimes they show, like, a really awkward, let's say, 25-year-old. Yeah. He's, like, super autistic, super, the guy's never fucked, he's never had a kiss, he's never interacted with a girl. And then he's going to meet a 16-year-old who is flirting with him, like, cope like ridiculous over the top flirting this guy has never received attention like this before mm-hmm. and he shows up to her house this is probably a fringe example but i'm sure stuff like this has happened on that show and then he shows up to this house this desperate pathetic soul and then it's like you know then the whole song and dance happens and i'm just not sure that it's deserving He's deserving of all of that. I disagree. I think that you. I can see how that situation would happen. I don't think it makes it like right. I could see how that could happen. Definitely not right. But it's but good the- that I think it's good that he gets chastised like that too. And even though it's extraordinarily uncomfortable, like it sets the tone, it sets the message. You know, especially if we we're able to like hear backstory from him and like realize like, oh shit, you know, maybe this guy is like kind of on the spectrum. Maybe he's just very socially awkward. You know, maybe that might resonate with other people that were even kind of considering something similar. Like, mm-hmm. so oh, just there's so much grossness. It's in slimy. All of it, the whole thing is slimy. I, yeah, I still I think don't... that guy's deserving of yeah. of getting fucking nabbed though, because that's gross. And uh, regardless yeah. of like where he's at in his <laughs> in his headspace, <laughs> bad take. <laughs> The only thing it makes me feel icky. That it, it does because the only my problem is that there shouldn't be a show from this moment. This isn't right. entertainment. Yeah, I'm so glad that I'm not like surrounded with that kind of media thing too. Because like that's kind of Chris Hansen's thing. That's just got to be stressful, even he's, being associated with that kind of shit. No, he's not stressed. He's way too comfortable. Well, he loves it. He flourishes. He he does seem to. <laughs> I yeah, never seen it. I'm I've never saying. seen over here. I love the way he talks. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, blank. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, first of all, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? Mm-hmm. I love that when he has his, like, superhero uh, quotes that he comes in with, you know? It's always, as soon as he emerges, you know, Could I have a slice of that pizza? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know he's back there like, What would be really cool yeah. to say today? <laughs> so I was going to say, I think the the people that get caught uh, had to, like, sign off on it to give them oh, their whoa. Right. Whoa. Well, so That's what I thought, because I believe mm. that's how it works on shows like Cops. But I just looked it up, and apparently they get away with it because To Catch a Predator, it's considered a news show. It's not an entertainment. And they don't have to follow the same rules. Interesting. Oh but it's Wait, like, what? it clearly is for entertainment. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, because who would sign what? off? That's how, they, that's how they kind of skirt that rule, and they can show these people's lives. Has anyone ever sued that, that show? Probably. Bullshit. I bet they can yeah. you look into that, Yeah, I'll man. look it up. Yeah, I'm curious. Well, how are you going to sue when your life is already ruined? It's like... Well, you get a lawyer who sees he's got money in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Use some of your commissary money at the prison. <laughs> yeah, I got 20 bucks on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's... Roll the dice. Look, if Matt Hoss can get someone to sue us... <laughs> <laughs> his was personally hired, though, right? No. Can you imagine? Wait, his was like a public defender. Yeah. No, it wasn't a public well, defender. I mean, but you get a, a you get a. Uh, a lot of times you'll say, "Hey, mm-hmm. let's go after him," and you get fifty percent of the settlement. Oh. That happens a lot when you're suing big corporations. Yeah. yeah. People don't have money. Whoa. So, so this is pretty dark. Uh, when I googled lawsuit related to To Catch a Predator, uh, the first thing that comes up is that NBC had to settle with a woman who sued them for one hundred and five million dollars because her brother. Uh, was caught on the show and committed suicide because of it. Wow. Oh. Can we agree the show's a so little fucked yeah, up? Yeah, right? that makes sense. <laughs> that Did exactly she win, Dan? Right. Well, they settled, so. So, yes. Yeah. There you go. They settled. God, that's wow. just. Wow. What a mess of yeah. everything. Yeah. I'm so glad that that's not my brand. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> fucking around. Even even though these people are like clearly pretty goddamn deserving. I have a seat. Uh, have a seat uh. You know, a collab with Chris Hansen? <laughs> I'd collab with Chris Hansen. I would too. I would do In it. A up. You know, it'd be funny to do is like watching TikTok videos with Chris Hansen. <laughs> mm. I'd do it up. What Chris would I do with Chris Hansen? 
you could almost just, I would almost just want to take him out in public and have him ask people to take a seat and have <laughs> yeah. someone can't walk around with a chair and see if get to sit down. Because everyone else watching knows it's him and knows what's happening. Because <laughs> like, he, he has like that mystical power. Like him when he, Chris Hansen tells your ass to have a seat, you have a seat. Yeah, dude. It's that full dad energy. Have a seat. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm cultivating Disappointed that. dad. Like, oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Is there anything else, Dan? I'm curious because there's got to be like even more, I feel like. Uh, most of the articles are about this one because I guess this this was pretty. This was actually a while back too. This is 2006 is when he committed suicide. Oh damn! So yeah, I guess that show's been running for a long time, hasn't it? Tom Bergeron's as tall as Michael Jackson. Let me look up pictures of his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm, yeah. mm. Mm. really exposing myself as a weirdo today. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's fine. Eh, what are you gonna do? Uh. Uh, what else we got here? What else we got here? That's my new thing that everyone laughs at me for saying. <laughs> Good catchphrase. Put on a shirt. What you... about the R. Kelly? So I was going to... There's a couple of things here I got. Mm-hmm. YouTube Haiku is also where I started. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. That one, but how... When was that? It was a long, long time Very, long time very ago. beginning of our channel. In fact, I can show you a couple of examples, but I think we, I think we had the same... Uh, came to the same conclusion with yeah. the because I was on yes. Reddit a lot. Yes. And I was trying so hard to get, you know, people to watch my videos. And I, f- you got to almost, what I figured out was like find niche and then make content for those people. Yes, mm-hmm. you definitely do. Um, Reddit is, is just such a toss up. I was looking at the question thread in your subreddit too, and I noticed one dude's question actually. Um, that, and he had said, like, Gus, how does it feel like with the creation process on reddit and like especially like you being kind of a controversial creator on reddit i, I like, saw that too i was, I was like, like what Sorry? i saw what? that too and <laughs> i fucking controversial I, I was i started to think did i miss something or yeah what? me too yeah. i just think uh-huh. thought the thing is that i've noticed with reddit and it's been personally comforting to s- it's shitty that it happens but it's it's personally comforting to notice that it is not unique to me, but I notice with any creator that starts getting regularly featured on Reddit, you know, I mean, there are dozens of people are they that, turning on you? that go through. Not yet is the thing, <laughs> but I mean, it's the same thing because I went in those those peaks and valleys too with YouTube Haiku for a while where it's mm-hmm. like, oh shit, they like me. Oh my God, people don't Get like me. Get him out of my fucking life. Yeah. And then it's He's like. He's spamming our whoa. subreddit. Ban him. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, they like me again. And then no. I'm like, man, I wish I could break onto our videos. Whoa, they like me. They don't. Yeah. They like me. It's yeah. fucking up and down. Yeah. And the thing is, like, you'll see this if you if you go to the bottom of any Reddit thread, you'll see it with oh, everybody. Brother. Doesn't matter how brother, wholesome, brother, how wonderful brother. they are. You know, don't You're, go to the bottom. Don't I, fucking I go to the bottom. To stay away from the bottom. It's hard not to look. And again, like, <laughs> Come it's, on, guys. bump me up, boys. What are you doing? <laughs> Where's that H3 army at? Where's that <laughs> army? Come on, they are not. Let's march on Washington. Guns loaded. <laughs> Get that subscribe Christ. button and smash it. H3 army. <laughs> We're not firing our weapons. We're only getting them locked and loaded, which is our constitutional right. They're Smack airsoft. that subscribe button. Airsoft weapons. Right? You endorse that message? The airsoft weapons? Hell yeah, no. Dude. ARs. ARs? Fully <laughs> locked and loaded with backup ammo. Yeah, hashtag AR. <laughs> ARs for Gus. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but you see it with, like, it doesn't matter how wholesome a person is, you know. The people that are regularly featured, currently a, a batch of that, I would say, is like me, Pro ZD, mm-hmm. Ian Kung, yeah. Binging with Babish, Casually yeah. Explained. You look at any of these guys like all the people I listed are so fucking overwhelmingly positive and, and wholesome and stuff and all the shit that they do but regardless there is such a like a thread of belief on reddit for so many people to think like well each piece of content should be made for me this was made <laughs> for me and I'm hiding behind a faceless nameless username so if I didn't like this fuck you I'm adding my opinion in it's so much more impersonal, you know? And you're always going to have the shitheads that just resent you because you are seen on there, you know? I mean, right. it's still an, it's an indication of, of overwhelming public opinion if you're still able to get top links and stuff, if people speak positively about you overwhelmingly. But, like, Bro. god damn, some of the most negative shit has come out of Reddit, like, yes. you brings you down. Like, don't nuts. understand. <laughs> Me and you have been through, mm-hmm. we basically had the same exact trajectory. Like yeah, I didn't, it's crazy. I didn't even know about the haiku stuff either, so, yeah. too. So I started on YouTube haiku, and I had the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, that was um, a great way to get people just watching my videos to start. Like, th- this is one of... Four seconds, dude. 
<laughs> oh, I've seen this in a gift form, I think. So yeah. there you have it. That was that my was fucking content. Like, yeah. You know? <laughs> and, um, but then people started liking us in our videos. Yep. And we even won, like, YouTuber of the year of our videos one year. Mm -hmm. Like, they loved me there. Yeah. And now, well, now, sometimes we'll do okay there, but for the most part, people are like, H3, mm -hmm. get that out of my fucking face. <laughs> I think that happens to a lot of people. It's just really important. Yeah, it's cyclical. It's cyclical. <clears throat> people, but people on Reddit are fucking, because on the exterior, you look at Reddit and you're like, oh, <laughs> cool, hip <laughs> internet guys. Yeah. But then they are fucking a lot of, there's a lot of jerks there. I've seen the highest concentration of, like, internet negativity from Reddit stuff. Like, separate from Twitter, YouTube comments, all that shit. I, and I think part of it is just because, you know, again, you're so fully anonymous. And then another part of it is I just think that there, it's so easy to get that group mentality with Reddit. Where, like, yeah. I, I was watching, fuck, who was it? It was on it was on Joe Rogan Experience. Oh, it was Kevin Hart, actually. Did you watch <laughs> that one recently? I caught clips. I caught clips. Yeah, where he was talking about, like, it's, it's so, like, now Nowadays, it's cool to be negative, mm -hmm. to go against the grain and be like, yeah. well, I fucking hated that thing. That's what it is. It's That's not, what it is. Yeah. It's like, I've been thinking about that so much. It's contrarianism. Mm -hmm. People, It's cool to be like a contrarian, but also even further, it's cool to be like nihilistic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's, it's cool to not care about anything. Yeah. Question and to not take everything. anything seriously. That's so fucking true. And I think that... <laughs> Somehow it's developed with these people that would go in and be like, "Fucking hate Gus. I fucking hate Pro ZD. That kind of shit." I. It seems like that point of view is not only unique and contrarian. It seems like when they're saying it, they think, "Oh, I'm on a higher mental plane," you know, yeah. because like I don't buy into all this right. thing that you mm -hmm. sheeple like this <laughs> dumb stuff, you right. know. I don't know what it is, because also, probably, I would be willing to wager 85% of my audience at least has come from Reddit over the years, you know? Mm -hmm. I've had a, I'm, I'm proud of this shit. I've been working for four years to get to this <laughs> I point, know, you know? Man. Uh -huh. And it's been grinding and stuff. It's been me, even not doing shitty scare videos, me swapping out cameras, jumping behind the camera and stuff so that, oh, I don't want YouTube Haiku to see me so much, so maybe if I'm shooting it, they won't <laughs> know it's me, and I'll just sneak a little <laughs> meme in for that day, get 20 subs, and work day by day, you know? Yeah. Bro. Like that's the kind of I shit. I remember you know? when we got ten subscribers a day. That was a big a achievement for I us. I would look no. at ten every single individual subscriber. Well, yeah, like ten it was day, fucking nuts. Crazy. Bro, we had the same. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, the <laughs> who, same come up. Did you ever have like who were some of the very first early on like people that like swooped like swept in and maybe gave you a boost or something? <laughs> yeah, I, remember. I don't know if you remember because these guys are all kind of like ancient history yeah. now, but um. There was the MLG montage guys. They were the okay. first They're to discover my UK. channel. Do you remember snipers? Um, just like oh, oh, like S N I P A R S. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, I remember them. Yeah. So he was okay. like my snipers. Was like my guy. He, he discovered our channel, and yeah. then I we like he invited me to his group chat, and he was like in a click with all the other MLG montage guys, mm -hmm. and they started like. Uh, I would make in like green screens, yeah, for to put in their MLGs because they would make just this crazy edits, yeah. And they're like, "Can you just record for us something on a green screen?" And we're like, "Sure." Oh, hell yeah! So that was and our yeah. So it was actually like, a really fun time. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, but it was like, man, I remember, I remember. <laughs> One of my first bumps was I I used to make these video edits, these EXCs. Yeah, I remember those. And I made one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ainsley Harriet. Yeah. And Filthy Frank posted on his Facebook page. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. gained like 3,000 subscribers in a day. And I was, bro, I was, I was euphoric. You're fucking yeah. through the roof. Yes. You're like, oh I my God. I had music playing. I was dancing. We were I was, still in Israel. I was euphoric. Uh huh. Dude, I love that shit. Yeah. Early on, I think the very first one that was my first boost. Um, I think I must have been at maybe like, it was definitely under 20K subs on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I started getting a couple notifications from Twitter and were like, oh, I'm here because of Jericho. Like, Jericho sent me over. Tucker, he's a big Twitch mm. stream guy. And he was like maybe five hours into just some stream where he was looking at videos or whatever. Um, and someone linked me to his stream and someone had recommended one of my videos. And just him on, on, on his stream, he goes, Gus fucking Johnson, this motherfucker right here, so funny. Like, <laughs> go check him out, guys. Go give him a sub. I got like 1,200 subs that day. I was maybe getting three subs a day. Good. Dude, that made my month. Yes. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, that kind of shit. I, I, I need to be better about doing that to more people because I know how valuable that is. And ugh, that, fuck, there was another one. Idubs, actually. 
really early on, it was like I was, again, maybe under like 50K subs and I was just relying on going from like haiku mm -hmm. post to haiku <laughs> post to hopefully get views and stuff. <clears throat> And he came in on one of my way old videos. I was doing this do-it-yourself good thing. And he just said, hell yeah, good vid in the comments. And I was like, Dude. hello. And yeah. of course, all the comments were like, bro, Idubs is here? Like, yeah, that kind of cool. shit makes such a difference and is so important when you're just so Idubs is a sweetheart about stuff yeah. like that. He, he, yeah. he's, he's very proactive about supporting. Mm -hmm. The first time I saw you was in that video you guys made together. Yeah, um, I have got so much fucking respect for him. He's been nothing but nice to me, and he, he reached out to me and fully was just like, "I would love to shoot something with you." When I was like maybe around a hundred thousand subs, That's which awesome. is what a fucking nice, unnecessary yeah. thing so, to do. People don't know about Ian is that he is a fucking such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. um, he's a very wholesome, sweet guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a big, beautiful heart. And head. <laughs> and, uh... And uh, he's probably got his AR loaded right now. <laughs> he's coming. Marching. He's marching. <laughs> Guys, we're come on. Listen, we're get we're doing really good here. We're 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 bumping. At yeah, least we're, we'll we'll we're, rank we're it. We're close. We're almost two thousand away. So I'm willing to venture that there's probably two thousand of you watching this right now that are not subscribed. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely fully Let's, edged right now. So. You're edged. I'm edged. You mean like you're on the edge? I'm on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> so close to climax right now. Damn uh, it! <laughs> I, there's some bug because it drops it for like 500 at a time. Yeah, it's unnatural. But load up those ARs, those AKs. <laughs> get a good vantage point where you can enjoy the celebrations. <laughs> Maybe I should stop. Dan, I should should stop. You I'm just talking about, about subscribing. Do, so. I'm talking about subscribing. What did I say? There you go. Hit slime that button. <laughs> I got something for you. Um, I don't know if you recognize the shirt at all. You can see it by the back right here. Little peep. Little peep. I wanted to thank you mm. and uh, Post when he was on the show for showing me Little Peep. Mm -hmm. It's honestly been kind of a meme on my channel at, like for a while now. Mm -hmm. But I just so unironically fucking love Little Peep. And mm. I caught the episode where it was like shortly after Peep's death and mm. Post was on here talking about yeah. it. And I was like, I'll check him out. Oh my God. Like You're, peep you're peeping in. I'm peeping in. Fucking hard. I love Lil Peep so much. That's cool. That's it's some so dope sad. Shit. This well, shit is happening way too much. It's happening a lot. Yeah. Well, dying I think it's so related. Young. I have to tell you, I think it's related to what we've been talking about is that people online now get so much shit. Yeah. It's so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard as a human being, we're not equipped to deal yeah. with that kind of of feedback yeah. and I think a lot of the people especially like rappers and these guys who have like a hard exterior yeah. they don't like I'm I'm a giant pussy I got no problem complaining that I'm depressed and that I you know that I'm on antidepressants and all this shit but these guys with hard exteriors they are nodding not often times allowing themselves to even to come vulnerable. to terms to be vulnerable even with themselves yeah it, and they so can't. It yeah. will to damage their image, and then, yeah. it, and then it imposes upon their own self-image. Boing. Oh, um, just drop when you did boing. We lost three hundred, <laughs> and is. we're back. Boom! <laughs> hey, hey, zoop! Uh, <laughs> Somebody just locked and loaded. I mean, come on. <laughs> no, I think but, that's, yeah, I that's think, fucking right. It's I it, think it is it's happening so much too. Yeah. It's just nuts. Yeah, that one's some sad shit. It's always shitty when you find out about somebody after they die, too, because, like, I had no clue about him, but, like, goddamn. He just had a new single, or the new music video dropped today for his oh, thing. Oh, for real? That. Feels weird. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, there's drama in any music community mm -hmm. and shit, too, but a lot of people are really taking issue with the fact that it seemed like, especially a lot for Peep now, his existing <laughs> vocal tracks are kind of being, like, just... Can't, I don't know what the right word is. Cannibalized. They're they're they're, they're releasing so much. They're music let's say that. they're um, taking full advantage. Yeah, and I don't know what kind of contracts were signed. I don't know what kind of mm -hmm. intentions to his latest yeah. single was like it's him and it's McConan who was a friend of his for years, um, and Fall Out Boy's on the track, which is like I know Peep had talked about like being a fan of Fall Out Boy. I think they had wanted to work on something, but it, it's it's so weird because like the single is called I've Been Waiting. Now they've released two music videos for it like two fully shot music videos what? which wow. is fucking weird that's it's weird. a lot yeah for any situation but it's like in the song 
there is like maybe one loop of Peep's vocals that they had, and it seems so clear that it was like a lower quality, like this chunk, and they're like, oh, we got this chunk. Yeah, what if we just fucking looped it four times and brought in McConan and then threw Fall Out Boy on the track? That's a, that's a song. And it's like it's two years after he died, you know? Like, yeah. It feels weird to a lot of people. I don't know what the right moral answer is. Maybe this is what he would have wanted. It feels really fucking bizarre, though, you know? And a lot of people are kind of voicing or like, dude, fucking stop doing this shit. That's a tough, yeah, that's a tough There's question. There's also this whole, like, um, I think it was... Amy Winehouse or someone like mm-hmm. a holographic uh, tour. Yeah. Well, did she do that? The uh, Dan, or... weren't we talking about someone who's going on a holographic tour who's passed? I thought it was Who either was it? Tupac or Michael Jackson. Honestly, I well, they know. did it with Tupac a couple years back. Um, yeah, Coachella. but yeah, I think it's becoming. You know, you know, it, maybe they're doing one for Amy Winehouse too. But I know that uh, they're doing a Frank Zappa one. <laughs> That is Frank weird. Zappa. I yeah. guess he'd probably be down with that. Yeah, yeah. He, he was actually super down with it to the extent that he predicted it would become a thing and before he died, recorded a concert with the intent of it being a hologram someday. And this was in like 1990 or something. That's Whoa. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's some progressive ass yeah. shit, Frank. Yeah, yeah it, he was on another uh, plane of existence. Yeah, he was a weird guy. There is a I hope somebody... Amy Winehouse hologram tour. Who's that's just, just the weird so thing is like who's strange. making money off yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like these, it's like the record uh, companies own your soul now. They're like, when you die, we will continue to tour your ass. Yeah, they're doing that same shit with even like traditional acting stuff too. Like, uh, like artists are starting or actors are starting to sign off, and say like, you do not have permission to use my likeness or my voice in future projects. That's they, wild. They say that within the next five to ten years, they could take existing audio clips of people f- as far back as from like even the 40s and shit and piece together bits of audio, scrub them up and make it sound like, yeah, Marilyn Monroe, is, uh, she recorded this stuff. And it sounds like yeah. her and it looks like her, you know? I hope somebody makes a hologram of me doing this podcast when I die. That'd be dope. <laughs> Do you think this podcast will be entered into the National Archives as being significant enough culturally to be preserved for generations? Uh, I'm thinking this absolutely specific not. Episode. I'm thinking so. Absolutely. Just this one. Oh, no, this, <laughs> just this, this, this show will definitely not be entered into the... Uh, but No, but somebody's going to want to do a hologram. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by... <laughs> I'll be all doing sponsor copyrights as a hologram. Yeah. That'd be sick. For all the companies that don't even exist anymore. <laughs> it's like 200 years. No, would they be doing future shit like uh like uh you could pee you can pee in this bottle and drink it. <laughs> yeah. Is that a future thing? I feel like that's a real thing. That's the direction honey's going in these days, I think. Honey? Yeah, piss bottles. I mean, thing. dude. <laughs> I'd do I'm that. all over that. That'd be a dope the dopest hiking companion. Yeah, that would be great. Piss in your bottle. I I definitely <laughs> piss in bottles way more often than I should. Almost any car trip, I got to fucking pee in a bottle. With people in the car? I've, I've done it a couple times with my girlfriend in the car. <laughs> How did she react? She fucking hates it. It's yeah. like, don't do that. Because I'm afraid that I... I'm, well, so my two fears are, mm-hmm. one, I'm peeing too much and the bottle's f- overfilling. Yeah. That's, a, that's like terrifying yeah and then two i'm almost guaranteed that i'm gonna get pissed somewhere i don't want it you know <laughs> that's thing true is that, like for you guys it's already so easy to pee in yeah. public just mm-hmm. make a stop anywhere you know what i did one time <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair i mean <laughs> no it's so easy we take that shit for granted that's what you'd have to do like in college too when you're like walking around from bar to bar sometimes if it's like shit was full you just had to the technique that you do is you take out your cell phone and you lean against a wall and then put your dick controlling hand over here and it just looks like you're leaning against you the wall it's like <laughs> babe i'll call you back and it, so you pretend you're on a phone call and then you just kind of silently pee along the side of the building or something like that you would do that in college allegedly <laughs> I don't know what the statute of limitations are I mean, for peeing my, in a my shitty my college. I had a girlfriend that got AIDS, but I never peed on a wall. That's true. <laughs> While walking? Well, sometimes if you really need to sell it, if someone walks by, you take a couple steps. Just, oh, it's tax season, am I right? <laughs> and, <you're, laughs> and the stream isn't visible to them? Well, that's what we try to, like, ricochet off the wall so that it just <laughs> silently, like, creeps down. <laughs> Damn, it's the same. Yeah, I got this shit down. I teach a class. You know how they've been doing, uh, what's that, Skillshare? They start like hiring people to teach classes. Yeah. That'd oh, be dude, interesting. I take that. Sign me up. Piss one oh one. Um, no, dude, I almost every car trip, it's just 
it's just easier to just pee in the car and keep going. So what, <laughs> But the thing is, it's way easier to do it if you're the passenger. So I would usually hop in the back seat, and you can't just, like, open up and, like, let your member out because then you got all that spill potential on your jeans. Mm-hmm. So you have to literally, like a little kid, pull your pants oh, all the way down <laughs> so that you got a clean zone down there. Oh, when you're in the car, you go, you know, I'm... Girls do can't it. do that. No. Yeah, girls suck and boys rule, duh. <laughs> Boys rule. Got him. When I pee, and this is another thing I'm embarrassed to admit. Yeah. This isn't something I've done my whole life. It's a recent uh, development. I pull my my pants like all the way down. Like a five year old. Currently. Yeah. In public. Because I I no not in public. Okay. God, heaven, <laughs> no no I'm not a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> well, well no, but at home I'll drop trout fully. Yeah. Because so many times. <laughs> so many times, like, because I'm a fat guy and I wear elastic waist uh, shorts, and like the drawstring, I always oh, gonna yeah. show us. <laughs> yeah, or, I like, do that if shit. I pull it down, and then like it will catch like a fold mm-hmm. on the pants, and then you end up pissing all over yourself. Yeah, that's that rough. was happening to me way too often, so I started dropping trout all the way down. Is See, it being a guy that convenient now, Ela? Again, that's the fucking Spectrum pizza to cucumber. That's full <laughs> oh, cucumber. Well, there, dude. well See, you well, know. I, I mostly, when I'm at home, I almost exclusively pee sitting down. So that's a different oh, angle. Oh, It's just comfy. You need a little break. You know? I've tried wait, it. What about wiping? Wh- wipe. Wiping my urethra when I'm sitting down? No. <laughs> no. I get in there. My, I get the, in there. You're, you're wiping How do you front wipe? or back. Um, I go, I think I go alternating. You know, mm. sorry, but yeah, <laughs> dexterous. Well, because you yeah, don't want to flex on you guys, but yeah, because you know you got the little butthole folds, and if you wipe all in this direction, then you got the little sleeper poops that are hiding out there. You got to be thorough. Sorry, how cavernous is your asshole? I get in there, dog. <laughs> folds? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You got to be thorough. So wait, you're talking about coming at it from the side? <laughs> no, I I'll go front to back and back to front. And what always bothers so me. So hold on, hold on. But you're showing back. You come from here. Oh. I, my arm is always back there. So that's oh, back. you're okay. saying? No, <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Who yeah. does you do that? Yeah. How do you do that? I lift my cock and balls in one hand, and I slide under. That just gets too close to the bone zone there. Like you can't. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, that's why I cup and I lift. And I'm not. And I'm. It's an art form that you learn over a decade. Okay. I gotta hone that skill. But from the back is not is not something that. I is compatible with my lifestyle. Oh, <laughs> I would I would try it out. It's a revolution. <laughs> I have. No, I'm always Well, active. I've converted people. I'll tell I'll have you know yeah. that a lot of people tried it my way and they're like this is much better. That's so true. So maybe you should. But also how would you know they're not telling the truth unless you you gave a little peep? Unless you know I had saying? a video yeah, evidence. That's true. That's, right. That's true. Unless I had a time lapse of them doing it several times. Yeah. <laughs> we got to step it up. Yeah, send in yeah, that evidence. video evidence for Dan to watch. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no joke to this day. <laughs> daily, I still get multiple emails about people's wiping technique. Well, you know, it's one of those things that I really enjoy talking about. But then, of course, you know the whole conversation Are you going to being... ditch the other to wipe from the front? Because I don't know. I don't know. It's true. Ooh. It's the only way I know. Can mm-hmm. I teach him? Uh, can, I, can you teach a man to fish when you don't know how? Yes, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, when you the t- I don't know how to oh. fish. That's a good point. You know, I can only teach. I can only teach what I know. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. So regal. <laughs> a man can only know what he knows. Ain't that the truth, guys? We're seventeen hundred away. I mean, for Christ's sake, come on, come on, Gus guys. Johnson, one million subscribers. H3 bump right now. What does the HB3 bump mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> when we, we started a little over 5,000 away. So, I mean, we've made good progress. We're here. getting there. We're bumping. Yeah, we didn't. Guys, I worked for four years. Do you want me to go back to <laughs> making anonymous scare videos? <laughs> I don't <laughs> fucking think so. I'll give you 20 bucks for one. <laughs> I'll do it then. I'm so, I, oh, yeah. Break is out now, too, because they were Defy Media. So. Oh, were they? Uh, Guys, I'm out on the street. You're the only one that got paid. Yeah, I was the only guy. (laughs) That was just whittling away $50 at a time. All right, I got some videos I want to show you. Yeah, let's see them. This is the fun part. We can enough chit chat. Hell yeah. Business. Now, I know I saw you tweet recently about Lance Stewart. Yeah. (laughs) So I know you've seen this video. Uh, I love Lance Stewart. You may know that about me. So they made a video where they broke, they break up. 
And then they made a video saying, are we getting back together? Now, let me, they act like they are just randomly at his house. These motherfuckers are wearing the same ultra rare red hue. Is that like, true? That's, bro, that's the exact same shade of like, <laughs> I want to say, what kind of? Burgundy. Yeah, that's burgundy. burgundy. Yeah. Thank you. I was, I was joking that because of Teddy Fresh, we got these really big, beautiful Pantone books, which like little cloth swabs, oh. thousands of them. The exact color, and all the colors have these really wonderful names. Yeah. So now I don't. Green, I no longer will say green. It's like <laughs> a sea a foam man. green. There you go. <laughs> yeah. you so know, they're sniping your spectrum green. here now, or what? Like, well, no, it's a beautiful. It's a really beautiful burgundy red, but that is not something you just find on the racks. No. That is a rare red, and somehow these motherfuckers match like they just <laughs> cut out of like they're like they're gonna drink Kool Aid together in a week and end it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't buy it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say about it. That's, no, that's a good point. <laughs> Lance always looks like he just got done sobbing in his car. <laughs> oh, and they are both have one earbud in. <laughs> that's definitely like a. That's definitely a death cult where they each yeah, have one earbud in. They're all wearing burgundy. Yeah. Last time she was wearing all gold. <laughs> ah, that's right. Did you see her all gold outfit? No, I didn't see that one. That's the one where they're breaking up. Oh, hit me no. with that. Hit me with that sound effect, Zach. Yeah. Thank you. Lance Stewart, uh, we're breaking up. Yeah. They'll, you, they'll, they'll figure that out. They, they did it. What the <laughs> fuck is Tell that? Me, describe this. To me. <laughs> What's my saddest outfit? <laughs> <laughs> looks like she's about to go on a spacewalk. Yeah, she looks like a diva here. And he looks like the bouncer for her show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. That's the video. Whose voice was that? That's Nerdy it. him. <laughs> I love Ian it. Green. <laughs> he sounds like Kermit, only right here, only. It's wonderful here. Let me play it for you. It's not easy. What the fuck <laughs> is that? Yeah. Oh, Debra! <laughs> I, love I, love I don't know why it's so funny. She looks like, uh, she looks like the lining of a satellite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but I bet a ten thousand that her name was either Cindy or Miranda. Mm. Is it? I, I have no idea. Actually, no. Ooh, Can you guys question. fact check that? Yeah, fine. Yeah, she looks like the mom that looks to see the manager at every restaurant. You know? True. <laughs> <laughs> How old crazy. is she? It's like an insulation layer. I think she's like. I think she's like twenty going on Name's fifty-five. Lizzie. That does make sense. Yeah. They really do be like that sometimes. L Lizzie worst. Lizzie worst. She's the she's worst. The fucking she's the worst. Best. Ah, there right. you go. Strong brand name. Her last name's worst. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's her last name. What a well, fucking idiot. Worst. <laughs> hey, what's like the two ten in German looking in uh, Lance's happen? thing? What oh, is that? Is that a oh, code like or, or is it area I think code? He, I think he had like a. He was trying to make a crew. Oh. <laughs> like Team Ten. Yeah, here's just a yeah. three-digit number. That's dumb. I wait. I, worse, doesn't that mean sausage? I think so. <laughs> Lizzie sausage. It's spelled like like bratwurst. Like oh, W U R S T. I saw this thing with Lance Stewart a couple months ago. I don't know the dynamic of him. I don't watch him a lot, but it seemed like his grandma was like super sick and had this big uh, health Kelly scare. Fans paid and uh, sorry, I'm trying to put. Yeah, go ahead. oh, that's good. And then he was like taking pictures of her with like the breathing tubes in and mm. super sick. And he, he was, she just was draped in his merch and was like, "Yo, swipe up, <laughs> swipe up for new merch. Like it'll make Granny like feel better." Or whatever the fuck. It's like, yes, Lance, come on, dude. Bro, why did I not hear about that? I love or, that. It's important. There was one Quebble cop had a great thing where his dad was like dying in the hospital and he yeah. was vlogs with him. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, I don't remember that. I do know Quebble cop though. Up. Isn't he from like Sweden? Like yeah, something yeah. like that. But he's like, hey guys, my dad is dying. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm here in the hospital, and his dad was like, Ugh. just all fucking dying in the What's back. What's up, my Quebble coppers? <laughs> kind of want to find that. Quebble cop Dad. track. Dying. I don't think it was that funny. During video? Looking... <laughs> it's gone. Okay, you know, I'm not going to do this. It's not funny. Thank I you, Elo. Oh, you. if you he had put it on video, that would have been like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Did he do that? I don't know. I don't want to touch this. I'm yeah. too insensitive to deal with this stuff, right? Elo, you, Elo stopped me. She's right. Yeah. Let's watch R. Kelly. Let's watch R. Kelly. We can all enjoy he that. He sings. Wait, is that recent that he's singing for R. that? R. Kelly fans that? paid up to a hundred. Oh, yeah. This just happened because he can't get a gig and he's like desperate to make money. Yeah. So, and I don't think he can leave his city either. Really? 
He's from Chicago, right? And this was in Chicago. Because I was thinking... Yeah, I think he's renting in Trump, Trump's tower. Oh, that's amazing. Hilarious. That's such a great collab. Some evil hideout. <laughs> that's such a great collab. You know, he's just at the top floor fucking brooding. <laughs> they I love that. Stand. That's so fantastic. So he can't get a gig, so they hired him to come sing at some local nightclub. Or, well, Chicago is not local. But yeah. Here you just go. some mom and pop a yeah. ticket to watch him sing for 28 seconds. <laughs> He's all Versace, though. Yeah. Somebody, 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 Fuck, I love him. Oh belted out the God. first few lyrics of his hit song, Bump and Grind. The appearance was at a club in downstate Springfield Saturday night. After singing, Kelly spent an hour ticket. with fans dancing and taking selfies. The 52-year-old faces is aggr- Wait, so we sang for 28 seconds and then stayed for an hour and didn't sing? Bumped and grinded. That's what you gotta do. You gotta be fin- efficient. <laughs> dude, his outfit's sick, dude. He's all versace out. He looks like the entire discount rack at Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> he just ran through the whole thing. That's true. Except this <laughs> outfit the card. probably- Put it helps. on the card! <laughs> He's just out. It's probably a $20,000 outfit. Honestly. It's amazing how much some people pay to look so bad. <laughs> the I've, clothing is an interesting phenomenon because it's like when you become so rich to a point, mm-hmm. you don't get a, the thrill from spending money. Like I, when I was really poor, I will get the biggest thrill from buying you know a twelve pack and some sausages. Yeah, dude. Well, that's that's becomes meaningless. So you have to buy ten thousand dollars shirts really to get any joy of spending money. Oh, that's crazy. I hope I never get to that level. My <laughs> outfit right now, the most expensive thing I'm wearing is this t-shirt. It's 25 bucks <laughs> that I got on Little Peep's shop. One, wow. I know. Steep. Top shelf, That's baby. the price of my own merch. Well, I don't even <laughs> buy my clothes anymore. Ely just makes shit for me to wear now. <laughs> that's the way to do it. I got to get Eddie on that. Yeah. Eddie, whip me up some hoodies by the time I get back, boys. No, it's great. Teddy Fresh is just a conspiracy to, for Ely to get me to dress nicer. That's a good. That's a good plan. These videos aren't that good. <laughs> Let's get on to the good one. This one is good. These ones are awful that we just showed you. So, but this one is good. Now, have you been following the whole phenomenon of the uh, Ethiopia? Do you have your shots? Oh, yeah. Do you have your passport? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So, this is a continuation around the same time. I'm not going to pause. I got to <laughs> not pause the videos. Here I go. I'm pushing play, and I'm only pushing it once. Why are people giving you shit about yeah, pausing? Yeah, it's a new meme now. <laughs> because it's so hard, like... Okay, I'm not pausing. Everybody, buckle up. Yeah. There's one minute clip coming your way. And here we go. I'm starting it now. <laughs> Ooh. She's probably in the mid-2000s, right? In living color. Damn. That's ridiculous. How did that not trigger any red flags even back then? He's just, being, he's just being sexy. He's got his whole crew choreographed on it. Yeah. I like those colors, Elo. It's a dope-ass fucking do- uh, do-rag right there. Yeah. Oh my god, they got a props department. Fucking carrot top <laughs> up in their face. <laughs> you gotta be 18, but we're flexible. Jesus. You know what's funny? Not he, kidding. He, he probably, is the daddy. Yeah, he's the daddy. He probably owns the patent on this song, too. Like, it's registered trademark somewhere is R. Kelly's, like, recruitment 18. song. Yeah. Got, Gotta be all... 18. Boom. Oh, look at your your own recommendation already. <laughs> yeah, isn't that fantastic? That's some dope shit. Yeah. I like that. It's also dark with him once you have the full contact. Gotta oh, be it's 18. so dark. Yeah. I don't know who Man. on his fucking press team thought that that uh, was a good idea, that interview, too. Like, oh, where he just him. loses his mind. Him? You know, yeah. everyone's just like, Robert, no, <laughs> dog, don't do it. He's like, I was like no, I got this, man. I got this. <laughs> Send me this a, I'm an entertainer. Yeah. They're going to love me. Put me in, coach. <laughs> I think of, of the people that defend him, you know, mm-hmm. grasped onto it. But there's not many these days anymore, is no. there? Well, enough people to pay hundred bucks a ticket and get selfies and shit. People are going crazy, man. Imagine, imagine people wanting to like actually have sex with you. That's just nuts. That is such a crazy. Sorry, you <laughs> just you know <laughs> the proverbial in the proverbial sense. Yeah, the, the proverbial sense. sense of just being like. There's this one clip we watched recently of him, all the audience members grabbing his dick. 
He oh. was like, what? wipe me off. Wipe my crotch off. But I was like, damn. Yeah, that that's one. nuts. Nobody wants to wipe my crutch off. You know what I wonder is how <laughs> did you ask? I mean, <laughs> pays us to do it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Dan doesn't like to do it, but we pay him. <laughs> um, I wonder like how much this shit happened in like the '60s and '70s and '80s at concerts and stuff, but just like phones and the internet yeah. wasn't around. Well, you know? groupies, groupies, yeah, yeah right. I mean, cr- cross, uh, classic rock world, man. Dude, yeah, how many of our favorite artists today, like the legends and stuff of that classic rock oh. area, would just be tanked for today if there were Bro. phones, you know? Mm-hmm. They had women who would follow them around on tour buses mm-hmm. for the opportunity to have someone piss on them. Yeah, who knows mm-hmm. what the hell was happening, you know? Damn. That's pretty Damn. Nice. Oh, I thought you said Dan. Dan knows. <laughs> Dan knows. Um, have you heard of this uh, Instagram account, Preachers and Sneakers? No. So good. <laughs> what the hell is it? This is a new phenomenon that I've just captivated me. <laughs> preachers okay. and Sneakers. So these are all super high-level uh, preachers. But okay. they go up on stage to do their preaching, and they're wearing the most obscene designer clothing. So here we've got... This like, is like like modern-day Joel Austin shit for like yes. the kids? High beast priest. Oh so, my god. Well, this one's not that bad. There, there's some of these are just like, let's see. <laughs> like, how can you, on one hand, be a preacher, a Christian man of God, and be wearing $1,100 Gucci, Gucci slip ons? It's ridiculous. <laughs> god damn. I mean, I don't understand how you can hold those two. Are, are they, are those not. Like, here, he's wearing a Gucci belt. Like, that's not even... It's a $500 belt. People know that that's Gucci looking at it. Like, oh, you're not that's even a trying flat. to hide. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, every, everything, all this stuff that they're wearing, those are hard flexes. Like yeah, it's the, not the Gucci flex. sleepers with the fur, and there's yeah. no confusing of what that shoe is. Dude, I... This like, is the kind of shit, like, to an accelerated level that I grew up with. Like, I, again, I'm from a town of a thousand people in Wisconsin. Bible Belt, USA, you know? Like... The uh, examples of just like these fucking oh my god, that's ridiculous. <laughs> this guy is wearing uh, <laughs> ye- what are these? Like... Yeez evangelical. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Red October, super rare, super hype beast, six thousand dollar mother effing shoe. That doesn't even look good, too. <laughs> I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> that looks horrible there. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot of these high-end sneakers, too, are like, bam, you're going to look at this. But they just look like garbage. That looks like when nature is telling you, like, don't eat this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Yeah, You I, grew up around this stuff. I grew up around this kind of shit. Not at the Gucci level, you know, but it was just like the... In the in a small town, it's there's so many goods and bads. It's nice that you have that good support structure from people that care about you. And then there's like the central things like the church. You know, people come together and potluck and shit. And the school, all the events, everyone knows what's going on. But, like... Everybody knows each other's business, and just the amount of just fucking shitty, hypocritical Christians in power that I experienced mm. growing up was just overwhelming, you know? Pastors that are just, like, bashing gay kids and trying to do, like, conversion therapy and shit, mm. and then they get busted for cheating on two wives, you know? Unbelievable. Like, oh, well, this is just a, a tribulation that God gave me. It's, fuck <laughs> you, dude. Yeah, there's, yeah. Always a, there's always a loophole for the Christians. Well, that the Christianity is built in with the with a loophole. I yeah, mean, that's the whole thing. Is that no matter you can be a serial child rapist, but as long as you ask Jesus for forgiveness <laughs> before you die, you all good. Yeah, it's just stupid as hell. It's just a bunch of people picking and choosing and stuff, especially at the small town level. You know, you hear the sermons and shit, and like. <sighs> There's some shit I shouldn't get into, but, like, we had, the year before I graduated, we have this night called, like, Baccalaureate, I think, and it's where it's more of a religious-themed ceremony that's optional for the kids that are going to graduate the next day. Mm. So they had a guest preacher come in, um, and he was genuinely, like, uh, be- like Bible belt doom and gloom going to hell, like, if you are gay, if you are practicing homosexual, mm. you are pervert, you're going to hell, and there are people in this room that I know right now that are gay, and you're Whoa. going to hell. It's like, Wow. Fucking these kids are graduating tomorrow. Ooh. Like oh they God. almost made it out of this. And hell congratulations. State. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. God. But it's just like that's wow. the that's type evil. Of shit. I mean, it feels evil, doesn't it? It does feel evil to come with that level of like wick. I mean, it just feels like so wicked. Yeah, it's stupid. And then it's like you got people like uh, I had a. Uh, a mentor or a coach of mine who was like forcing kids to pray before matches and stuff like that and hold held really like really you know 
closed-minded, shitty thoughts and stuff like that, and he gets fucking fired because he had porn on his computer for years, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that kind of shit, where it's just like, I... Dude, I hate it. One of my favorite quotes, I think it's Gandhi, said, I like your Christ, I do not like your Christians, you know? Mm. And I've just seen a swath of fucking, yeah, <laughs> topical Gandhi reference. <laughs> ah. this, I've seen so, so many of these people in power just in, in just a personal small town community that it's just such so, a turnoff. Did, were you grown in a religious household? Yeah, very religious. I, one thing I, I appreciated, though, is my parents... It's such a it's huge commendations to them. They were a beacon of acceptance and forward thinking in this really, really close-minded community. Mm. And my parents don't really hang out with other people in the community. They're coaches and teachers and stuff. Um, and they were always, like, from a young age, they're like, hey, you know, if you're gay or trans or anything, like, we're cool. Just tell right. us, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, wow. like just be open-minded for stuff. And we went to church every Sunday, and I'd go to youth group on Wednesdays and stuff. But it was never crammed down our throats. It was just like, yeah, we're going, you know. And are are do you, are you religious to this day? Do you I'm still not really observe? Super religious. Um, I I'm just kind of. I think I'm so secular minded with everything I'm trying to do right now. You know, I I really try to work as hard as I can to be mindful of others and seek out other people that you know need just a little bit of attention. And now that I'm in a, in a position where I have a platform and I have the ability to you know just do little easy things, it's so easy to just you know acknowledge people, say hi to the guy at the grocery store, talk about stuff, and but. I mean, I don't do it because God says I should, you know? I, yeah. I'm trying to just stay as grounded as I can because um, I'm just a small-town kid from Ohio, you know? <laughs> white boy. Of course. That was yeah. the hard low game reference. the line? White boy. Yeah, white, white boy. boy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You guys are on it. Thank Cut you. from the soundboard, but... Yeah, I don't do things like through a religious lens. I don't really think about. Do you go to church anymore? No, I don't no. go to church anymore. You ever feel like it? You ever say prayers? No. Well, <laughs> yeah, when I'm gonna die, you know, <laughs> the anxiety attack. You better know I was praying. You start praying. Like, oh, you know, second wind here, boys. Come on, Come on, Jesus. Let's do it. Um, I don't know. I it, I just don't think about it a lot for the truthfully for the most part. But that's good. I'm I, just curious, you know. I think it's important to have a set of beliefs not even like non-secular but just like sh shit that you decide for yourself like mm -hmm. i'm gonna be this kind of person mm -hmm. you don't have to tie it to something i try to live like that mm -hmm. but well it's interesting because i'm from socal yeah and ev it's always kind of like it, there is that typical archetypal kind of socal it's like everyone's super secular nobody's religious and yeah everyone's jewish every person i've known is like jewish for mm -hmm. some reason so I am curious about what the experience is out there. Yeah, it's weird. Um, it's so shitty, like, in small towns, too, because everything's an open secret, too. So, like, we, we've had a number of suicides in just the last couple of years. For a town of a thousand, you know, wow. to have even, like, a few suicides. It ripples. Like, that shit is, that's enormous, you know? That's a percentage of the community, like, killing right. themselves, like sure. kids killing themselves, yeah. you know? And I just know that, like, so many... So much of the church is tied to, like, school shit, you know? And it's just, like, it's a really poisonous environment. I can't mm. imagine being, like, a gay kid growing up in my small town. Well, How do you make it out? Right. Everyone's telling you, you're wrong, fuck you, you know? That's sad. I yeah. mean, I hear a lot of, of gay people who came from those backgrounds talking about it. And um, it's hard to empathize with them completely and how hard it must be for mm -hmm. them. But it seems, like, really just, like, hell, you know? Yeah, it's so weird, too, because it's, like... The people that I even think highly of in the community for like other things, it's like, oh, I know they have shitty thoughts, or like, oh, they have like a gay son that no one they don't talk to. Their family fucking excommunicated Ugh, them. How can you? Really? Do but it's that? just like, what do I? <laughs> what's up, Shredder? Visitor. Shredder how you doing, dude? About this. <laughs> I accept you. Whatever your orientation is, Shreddy <laughs> fucks anything. You fuck anything? He's yeah. fucked the males. He's fucked females. <laughs> if he good. likes the smell of your butthole. He's going in. That's good. Don't let him hold you back, buddy. Yeah, I love how the Christians say that uh, homosexuality is not naturally occurring i'm like bro you have you been to the dog park yeah <laughs> like you don't have to go far honestly well, i mean that's a that's a literal fact is in every known species of mammal there have been multiple observed cases of homosexuality Hello. like what the, what yeah why wouldn't there be how do you just look past that and be like yeah. no you're yeah. just choosing that uh what was that where they said oh the Ray, what was his name? The uh, Ray William Johnson. No, yeah. the the classic one where he's like the banana. It's evidence that God exists. Uh, perfectly, oh. perfectly. You peel it. 
yeah. race site. Let me let me find this. An old video. But I saw such a great rebuttal to that. Yeah. And he's like, okay, the banana perfectly made to fit in your asshole. <laughs> Ray, Ray Comfort. Yeah. He's Ray like, Comfort. He's like, it looks like a man. penis. It's a perfect shape to go in your anus. The banana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ray Comfort. I love that. Well, part. isn't the best <laughs> refute my... of that that a banana isn't natural? Like yeah, that it is a, like a man-made thing. That's funny. I've since Kirk, that. Uh, Kirk Cameron, the legend himself, and Ray Comfort. What a name, Ray Comfort. Man, what's the chance that guy doesn't touch little penis? Nah, Just, dude. With the last name like Comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. With the name like but, Comfort. It has to. When be you really look at the and they're, why are they sing in front of a Bob Ross painting? <laughs> it's inspirational. The truth is, it takes more faith Listen to, to be an geniuses. atheist than it does to believe in God. You've really got to ignore the facts. Uh, it's funny how we equate the word atheism. With Are the they on a rug? Yeah. The exact <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got to keep it clean. Look, I have an, uh, an intellectually stimulating theory. It's my theory of where the soda can may have come from. <laughs> Billions of years Sorry? ago, there was a big bang in space. <laughs> Start from, from the, the big bang, bang to explain soda happened. cans. And from this bang issued this huge rock. On top of the rock was found a sweet brown bubbly substance. And over millions of years, aluminum crept up the side, formed itself in a can, then a lid, and then a tad. And then millions of years what? later, red what? paint... I think he's, he's making a parody, yeah. ...fell the sky and formed itself into the words... 12 fluid ounces. <laughs> you love the music. Yeah, the music you say, really drives the point home. My intellect. And so I am. Because we know if the, if the can is made... That star-spangled can, be, too, I love dude. that can. Designed, Fuck yeah, that can. I like that they blocked out the some of Pepsi. Just the pep part. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. See? Like this is just a... See? It's for proof, you know? See? Hold this, Kirk. Don't tell me what to do. Oh. Damn, that was kind of rude. You're coming strong. Cut. I told I promised not to pause. Yeah. Very good. Now, <laughs> but I love how he handed the can to Kirk. Can is made, if this, if I was editing this video, I'd meme that up. Designed, <laughs> there must be a designer. To believe the soda can happened by chance is to move Well, we don't have to guess. We know that we made it. Yeah. When you think. It's to have brain <laughs> There's a copyright on the can. Hold this, Kirk. Hold this, Kurt. Behold, Thank you, he says. Nightmare. Now, the atheist nightmare. Well nightmare. Ooh. Side, this is a nightmare if you go in pointy in first. <laughs> if you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side there are three grooves, on the close side, two grooves. The banana and the hand are perfectly <laughs> made one for the other. You'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non slip surface. Not a natural fruit. No. <laughs> what about a banana? If it's Two true for the banana, yellow, it should be true for white, every single fruit black, that exists on the late. planet. Yeah. Otherwise, your theory the doesn't work. Banana, you'll find, as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top. So God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull oh, God the tab, has placed this is one of the dumbest things I think anyone's ever recorded. Yeah. yeah. Also, we cut it that way with the fucking tab. Like. <laughs> That's right. Right. Notice how gracefully it sits over Literally the any other fruit would have been Notice a better example. Yeah. <laughs> Literally anything but a banana would have been better. Right shape the human mouth. Is he going to suck that Freddy, down? Freddie, what are you doing? Easy to digest. Fred. And it's even curved oh, toward the fine. face to make the whole okay, process you're fine. so much easier. Seriously, Kurt, the whole of creation What is this fucking thesis the here? Is this a gay God. thing? It absolutely does. <laughs> it you might see, be the, the human eye. Could be. His, uh, yeah. It has 40,000 nerve endings and focusing muscles that move it. more than 100,000 times a day. He's saying because we made a can, yeah. God made a banana with the same engineering <laughs> that we did. philosophies. I don't know, God. It seems like we made a doper product, dude. I would rather have a fucking can of Pepsi than a banana. Hell is smarter. Yeah. Yeah, Some but dumb shit. tell me that about like tell me that about a pineapple. What am I gonna do with a pineapple, God? Yeah. Nice like, job on that one, idiot. <laughs> it's got a built-in security system, guys. Dude. I'm not joking. I'm not fucking around anymore. We're getting low on time. Where's my bump, guys? We are getting low on time, and we are 1,300 away. Guys, please. I'm I'm not privileged. Come on, please. Please, you guys, please. This we, we have we. This is so important. Feel that bag up. Thank you. Feel that bad, dude. I love that video. So good. You know, I love that. I don't think he clears the counter on a single bag of chip throw. <laughs> oh, all did he not? <laughs> Fill that bag up. Fill that bag up. I don't get. Oh, more. we were looking at the. Um, yeah. I wanted to show you a couple more of these preachers with sneakers. Oh There's hell some yeah. Some really good examples. But man, these guys. How are you gonna stand in front of your people? Like, look at this fucking guy. Yeah. A preacher. And. These are. Uh, Saint Laurent classic. Oh yuck. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. Dude, 
this is from like his own Instagram or something like that. It looks like it. Do you yeah. think he put the deep in thought caption on himself? <laughs> oh my goodness. You I think he did. God damn. Oh my god. I think he did do that. He's thinking about God, dude. He'll do but that. But you're showing uh, you're showing what you know what these guys say. They say that financial success they sew it into their um into their theory. Yeah. And and they sell it back to them cuz they say favor in God is represented mm. by financial success and a lot of these poor people that donate money they want to make money it's really a get rich quick scheme kind of this whole god thing dude it totally is yeah. a lot of them say donate money and you're planting a seed with god mm -hmm. and then by giving us money you're more likely to get rich dude yeah i'm calling my shot here again because the next like kind of longer commentary video i'm doing is on steve harvey oh I, oh man, he's he's right he's doing is that bruce springsteen that looks just like it him. looks like bono too but no he's a preacher Ooh, and he's geez. wearing full he's this is is so hype beast out like yeah. it's a fucking off joke white. yeah off-white shirt this is like a 600 hundred dollar shirt this is probably like two thousand dollar pants with the off-white mud flap oh and then God. these were like uh air jordans or some crazy Fear of God collabs. I mean, this is like a ten thousand dollar outfit. That's ridiculous. But off white, it's like, dude. yeah, come on. Also, dude. It's not for your age. Yeah, it's it not looks for your age. <laughs> <laughs> the mud <on>. flap dog. It's <laughs> the Jake Paul's closet yeah. right there. Anyway, sorry, you're going That's in on, on Harvey, the uh, creationist. Yeah, Steve Harvey. Why we still got monkeys, though? <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. that line. For yeah, me. he went on TV and actually said that. Here we go. Yeah, we dude, made progress. The final stretch. We're getting there. Um, I just think that. I made a video about Steve Harvey a while ago. Did you really? Yeah. What would you do? What angle did you take? Just that he's an asshole. He's a sex. Oh, he's the a moral barometer. Bullshit. Yeah, the moral yeah, barometer. Yeah, yeah. The the thing that he's doing now is he's got this new series called his Motivation series oh, wow. that ooh, he shoots ooh, ooh, yes, on his yes. sets of his talk shows, yes. like between shit. So you see like guys, tech guys walking around, and he's just preaching to people. Whoa. And it's that same fucking brain dead shaming Christian shit. Mm -hmm. Like there's like multiple videos of him just giving these lessons that are just so assholeish. Like he's saying like you know a lot of people. I'm not gonna do a Steve Harvey voice. <laughs> he's like, you know, a lot of people. I, yeah, <laughs> it would take it. too much time. He's a yeah. slow speaker. Um, he's just like, a lot of people, you know, they're always asking, like, dear God, like, let me get this car. Like, give me a car that can get me to work. Help me make next month's rent. Mm -hmm. And that's stupid. You're not asking enough. Don't you think that God can do this? Don't you have faith in him? Ask for the sports car. What? Ask for ask for oh. the down payment on the oh house. My God. It's like this is on you. You doubt God that he can do this? Start asking. I did all this shit and now I'm in this position. I just I hate this fucking underlying thing. There's a lot of like God. celebrities wow that I think are like overwhelmingly like good people though too, you know. <laughs> I'm thinking of the big people that like get up on a hill and they're the, the motivators and stuff. You know, yeah. The Rock is hard into that. Kevin Hart's hard into that kind of shit. But so many of these people never seem to acknowledge the gross, repetitive amounts of luck that they've had in their career, you know? Mm -hmm. They're just like, Steve Harvey's the perfect example of that. He's like, you guys, I did this. This will work for you, but you're too fucking lazy and you're not trusting God. Go and do this. And it's just like, well, it's true. you're lucky <laughs> as shit. The yeah. belief in God is almost like... Um, is super narcissistic and yes. thinking like I am the cho I was chosen by God to be here and that's why I'm here. Yeah. It is very narcissistic because you have to I mean, you know, success is the culmination of, you know, or they say that luck is the combination of uh time and hard work. Yeah. But it's just stupid. And then I I hate that they never acknowledge, you know, how fucking lucky they are. And they they act as if, you what know, you, you can just say, "Oh, a shredder biting oh. shit." Good. He's right, a good guy. <laughs> never do anything wrong. You see this? What's that bad boy? This is an epic fucking party popper. Oh yeah? You oh, see? come on, guys. 800, you guys. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen, but we bought this for you. Okay. And I don't know how you, you read the instructions okay. and tell us what to do. Is this, uh, Guys, we need 800 more. <laughs> Come on. Is this a bump stop? Okay. What is this? Fill that bag up. Instruction. Tear down the seal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Along the direction of the arrow, aim at the angle of oh, oh of 80 degrees. Not Measure a it out. That's <laughs> it out. amateur bullshit, all right? <laughs> Between sky and ground, then troll it? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what troll it means. <laughs> you know? I don't know what troll it means. Warning. <laughs> not suitable for children under three years. That's a pretty that low excludes bar. excludes you. For, yeah, that's not me, boys. Um, I don't even know which end is up. <laughs>
<laughs> Tear down the seal. Guys, we need 800. This thing might explode. What the fuck does troll it mean? That's like That's a the verb? Best line ever. Troll it? I don't know. <laughs> you mad, bro? Does um, it just fucking pop off there? Yeah, preachers with sneakers. Oh, there's one more video. While yeah. you guys all make multiple accounts and subscribe, do whatever you have to do. There's one more video I want to watch before we celebrate. Shredder, did you subscribe? Um, yes, yeah, Shredder subscribed 10 times. I made accounts for him. Staples announced their new logo, and yeah. it's the most dystopian, uh, hilarious thing I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you're just a Staples employee, <laughs> and you get called into a conference, and then they want you to watch this. All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. Put yourself in this shit. I'm not going to talk, and I'm not going to pause, but all you guys subscribe. <laughs> you can pause, like, once. I'm not going to pause. <laughs> Down the trachea. This is fucking motivational, dude. Like Holy shit. Lion King music. Dude, fuck Office Depot, Office Ooh. Max, all that. Nothing on this. Ooh. <laughs> okay. He's gonna- Whoa! Whoa! Oh, step- no! no! <laughs> Stay oh, <alive>. oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Staples everywhere! <laughs> That's like the fucking mind expanding meme. <laughs> God damn. The light show and everything. Yeah. The chairs, the conference chairs <laughs> packed in. Whoa, dude. Did they just tell them to stand up? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Standing ovation. Oh. Standing oh, baby. I'm still not going to get paid minimum wage. I'm fucking Standing here. Up. I'm just here for the time and a half. Woohoo. And you all get staples under your chair. <laughs> There's just one staple into the base of the chair. Everybody look under your chair. Yeah, reach under your chair. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a f- so epic, wasn't it? What is there to wow. celebrate? Their stock just went up. A thousand percent. God damn. Also, the logo, like what? Who fucking cares about a logo redesign? Nobody. No, not the stockholders, not the community, anybody. The Staples community. (laughs) Whatever, this guy's not even wearing all off white. That's some bullshit. (laughs) Yeah, how much are his poor boy shoes? If you're on stage and you're not in all off white, who cares about this logo? It's awful, actually. I hate it. (laughs) It's I just a staple. <laughs> and now just take the it's spacing just, bugs me, you it's know? It's just half a square. The staple takes up so much space. Mm-hmm. It could be like it could be like under the staples or something. And I liked that the old one. It was subtle, like, hey, our L's a little it staple. Was actually, it was what was our old one now? I'm confused. The L was like it, that it, bent staple and then it, the and then it got the boner on stage and yeah. <laughs> it, it reached staple perfection, <laughs> see? <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's a cool logo. That's so much better. It's a good font, and it's just a little, it's like, yeah. Dude, it takes so much more it's space. It's a little more complex. This is dumb. The old one. This is worse. And it, the color's worse. And yeah, they went from like R to T. That's like Lance what Stewart that? Burgundy yeah, Red. <laughs> Lance Burgundy right there. <laughs> what is the difference between the R to the TM? The I don't know. Oh, man, they went they went R on us? They went full No, they went TM. <laughs> oh. Oh, they went TM on us. TM on us, dude. Holy shit. Too much to handle. That's how it is. You know, <laughs> oh, this it is. is cool. Look, they got little staple desks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> These guys have lost their damn mind. If their stock's down and this is the answer, man, dump, <laughs> dump your staple stock now. Hell yeah. I'm a sucker for a good brand name or a logo, though, but this is just not doing it for me. Yeah, no, it's I not agree. doing it. I was pissed when Pepsi changed their logo. I love that. Seeing that old Pepsi can, that got me going with that big, gaudy font. I like that. Oh, yeah. Pepsi. No, Pepsi Long. old logo. Yeah, yeah. dude. Look, yeah. See that old shit? Even that classic the one font? with the thing. Yeah, I don't like this. What's old. the new shit? That's the new thing is that swoopy one. Is that the Obama <laughs> font from the Hope campaign? The new swoopy one? That old shit right there. That mid-2000s. Ugh, this one. Crisp. That's good. All that old is stuff is good. Or is that you squeaking? Oh, that's me squeaking. Oh, okay. Um, so where's the new, where's the, uh, where's, which one's the new one? New one is that, uh, stupid Top little... Uh, yeah. Oh, man, they, yeah, they're like, gone just on. Like, looks like a Yacht the Club font is logo though, or something. It's it like does. a, what is this font? It's just, it's just lame. It looks like a, it honestly looks like a, a Premiere Pre set. I'm not about that. 
Do you guys ever get like sponsorship offers from Pepsi after all the like Pepsi Max stuff that no. you guys are? <laughs> are you? Fu- I wait. What about you get any Papa John sponsors ever? No, we I tried. reached out to them. How did they not? What did fucking we dropped tried. ball? And do you know what happened? So many what times, too. Papa John got fucking hit in. Yeah, the shit. he got out from his company. He's in the shitter because he's like, oh, I'm gonna give Tom Brady money. Yeah. Tom Brady makes out with his kids. <laughs> 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 that was Papa's rationale. <laughs> um, I I had we even had our people reach out and they connected. Really? And they said no. it's not right for a brand right. Why? Now. Yeah, but meanwhile our guy's gonna go drop some hard R's at the conference <laughs> meeting and stuff. You He's, know? Yeah, because he well at the time he was sponsoring the NFL. Yeah. And then he said no kneeling. He said mm-hmm. kneeling is affecting our pizza sales. Really? <laughs> if he would have, and then that's when it all went downhill for the Papa. If he would have. Got on the H3 train, we'd be selling pies in pizza heaven. Who the fuck doesn't, like, millennials have got to be the main consumer of pizza shit. It's like, it just seems like such a slam dunk home run for them. It's so stupid. Come on, you millennials. I don't know if it was our agents not pitching it right or what, because I'm like, dude, I have a lifetime history. Mm Mm-hmm. I have we get pictures every record. day of fans with like Papa John. Not wow. anymore. Like Guess what? Not anymore. I wonder li- why the stock's down. Yeah, gee, it's <laughs> literally like one of your most favorite catchphrases. Fucking Papa Bless is yeah. because of that shit. Like, <laughs> dude, coupon code Papa Bless. If that actually worked, ridiculous. <laughs> I would sell so many fucking bars. You think that uh, Papa Shack's in charge now? It might be worth another shot. <laughs> Papa Shack? Yeah, like, Papa Shack. Shaquille now. O'Neal. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear that. What yeah. is he the CEO? Yeah. He, no, he's, but he's, he's the, the new face. face. He's the face of it. Yeah, they needed a black. I was like, that seems. A little timely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they needed a black guy. Oh, that's and in every commercial. Yeah. Goddamn. Well, let's celebrate. Let's do We're it. Five hundred like, away. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it. Unless yeah. everyone tanks me on LL. No, you know, you're gonna hit it. How the hell do I do this? So by let's the way? set off this big boy popper know. and just at an eighty degree, please. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry, I would never do a ninety. <laughs> Rotate by arrow. I just don't even know how to fucking do. Just this. remember to uh. Troll Rotate it. what? Tear what down the you? seal. The whole goddamn packaging is a seal. <laughs> Is this just a bomb that you got? What if I no. died on the fucking H3 bomb? I mean, yes. Dan, where did we get these? What's the story here? Uh, you asked for poppers, and I was like, I think there's some in the closet. And that <laughs> no, 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 no. Somebody bought them. Somebody <laughs> bought them originally. Yeah. You, uh, when we celebrated for something in the past, maybe it was a uh, last episode of the year or something. But were these purchased from a reputable source? I mean, yeah, who's oh, your popper judging guy? From the, <laughs> who's your popper? Uh, judging from the instructions. Huh. Uh, Question. No. Is it Question. a Dollar Tree? Or... Do you twist it? I assume that you fucking t- <laughs> that you twist it. Like, Dude, one... just troll it. <laughs> just troll it? Yeah. It says just to troll it. All right, here we go. It. All right, here we go. One milli. 80 degrees. 80 degrees. <laughs> Not that towards me. <laughs> How far? Right. Wait, that's super. Wait, what's 90? Is straight 90 up. 90 is straight yeah, up. Yeah, so 80. <laughs> also, they don't even say in relation to anything. They're just like, yeah, 80 degrees. I love 80. 80 would be. Okay. Yeah. Just if you could do it right into your face. 80 is like very close to 90. Here we go, boys. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, the thing. Oh, wait. You trolled it. Oh, I okay. trolled it. That looks like a fucking IED on the bottom. <laughs> what is that shit? What? Okay, I'm going back in. <laughs> troll it? <laughs> is this a, a blasting cap? Yeah, troll it. Is it... Dude, it smells like gunpowder. <laughs> it's, it, the label said there's no gunpowder in it. Oh, I, yeah, I hope bullshit. That's true. Well, where did, yeah. Was this made in, like, Taiwan or something? You think they have standards over there at the trolling factory? <laughs> troll it. All right, I'm going to troll it. Too much me. I'm trolling it, boys. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> what a great show. <laughs> Congratulations. We it off, dude. We got some party poppers here. He was hissing. See, that's it. Hey. That was even louder than Do this one. another one of those, Dan? That was awesome. Actually. That was some good shit. Tra- Ethan Trapberry, congratulations, guys. Boom. One million subscribers. We Such did Such a it. big milestone. It's so important. Here, you want to know? That's a banger. Yeah. Oh, good. You got a backup troll? Yeah. That's good. Did you hear it hiss for a second, though? Yeah, I was it scared. Fucking, I was no, like, I was what scared the of the hiss. All right, round two. <laughs> what the fuck? Go! It's hissing! <laughs> it's fucking hissing! Yeah! There we go! Yeah! Woo! Congratulations! For one million is such an important milestone. Thanks, dude. I appreciate I, it. I congratulate you. I am happy for you. I appreciate it. Can I I'm just say, end of the podcast thing, too? 
this well specifically the million thing has been a goal clearly of like any youtuber stuff this has been a goal of mine and also just being on the podcast has been kind of just like the beacon goal for me for years <laughs> oh, now that's awesome i told you I'd, I'd go back and forth getting those uh shitty donation bin like bags and stuff like i'd be listening to every new episode of the podcast that's i'd be awesome. i'd be okay. rollerblading at night and you know sitting on a couple uh, thousand subs like I want to get on that podcast I want to do that too so I appreciate it very much this is wow. the, a very awesome. nice thank you so much two in one situation so thank you guys thank I love you for you coming no, I appreciate you I so think amazing. you're a, a, a talent thanks I think you're a star oh you guys. I think you're funny I think you're humble I think you're sweet and a sweet kid that I definitely if you and you are 18, I would definitely get you a shot and a passport and bring you back to America with me. Do you know what I'm Hell saying? Hell yeah, dude. Let's yeah. go get vaxxed sometime. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> uh, oh, Shredder's back. So, anyway, yeah, I mean, a million for us was like. It was. We. It's, it's just. It's, it's weird. It's weird, yeah. I don't want uh, responsibility now, though. You're in the big boy club <laughs> it now. fucking sucks, yeah. <laughs> it's official. I guess it's official. Yeah. You know that Garth real. Brooks video? The, no, what is that one? And we should celebrate. <laughs> With little We're at the end of the show. At this point in the show, um, <laughs> nobody's left watching, so I can just not no, care about being entertaining. All still here. Oh shit, they're all still my, here. All my Brooks fans out there. Shit, they're still here, Elo. <laughs> <laughs> Garth Brook. Uh, here, I'm not going to pause. This one's really special. I want your hot take on this. One of my uh, friends in, from my hometown, his family somehow met Garth Brooks like a decade ago, and they spend oh. every summer at his mansion. What? what? Yeah. What do they think about him? They say he's nice as shit. He probably mm, is. But watch this video anyway. You know. Anyway. First I don't know about that. Video. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but truly, and I do want to express that, um, you know, congrats, bro. Thanks, Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, it's a guys. Huge, it's a, it is a huge deal. I appreciate it, yeah. <laughs> and um, there's that soundboard. <laughs> and it's the first of many to come. Here's hoping. You never know. Sketch comedy stuff. People come, people go. So. Yeah, but you've got it all. You're the tri you, you are the triple threat. You've got Thanks. the song. You've got the comedy. You've got the sketches. You've got the reaction videos. That's true. Trying to diversify a little bit, so. You know? Yeah, yeah. Just need a little off-white. I need some off-white. That's some my problem. <laughs> I'm wearing Converse right now. Uh, yeah, you're dude. not going to be <laughs> no, You're never going to make it. Through. I'm dead in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me, give me your hot take on this. Okay. Now that you have... Now that you have... Oh, you're, you don't have a million yet, so... I'll be equipped to talk about it but, as soon as I hit a milli. But then my word pretend you have a million subscribers, <laughs> and then watch this. Well, I guess it's official. <laughs> We're now on Facebook. <laughs> I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. Oh, yuck. I like that. But I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me, and I really like that. <laughs> it allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case, the hotel room. It feels like a threat. When I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Raw? <laughs> this is just who I am. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> so that was the last video we ever posted. Right? The first, what? <laughs> the first, and only and last video he ever posted to yeah. Facebook. Oh my god! I mean, that's just short a conversation. Long, it's a short conversation there. Yeah, it began. They're all then. happening in the DMs. I'll ask my boy about him. I got a hookup. Show him that. I'll ask my Brooks guy. You guys got a Brooks guy? God, I'd love to have Garth Brooks as a guest. <sighs> that would be just weird as hell. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Some of those I old like country that. guys, you know, they got to be creepy. I, huh? really like, that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Well, they, yeah. He ha kind of has the preacher thing, at least, because they're like, I'm just a good old boy yeah. in my Dodge truck. But, he, <laughs> he you know, he, he has like $10,000 snakeskin boots and yeah. like has a private airplane. And he makes songs. I'm just a good old boy. I can't afford my baby's ring. It's so weird. Like, that's the whole theme of it is just, like, really humble shit. And all these superstars sing about it. Just can you imagine if he made an honest country song? Just flew on my private jet and <laughs> fucked a bunch of <laughs> prostitutes. He doesn't care about it. Did anybody. a bunch of blow. You can't afford to be my friend. <laughs> yeah. There you have it. That's it. So let's sit in silence. What are we at? What let's are we sit at? in silence as we wait.
I'm oh, just guys. an old country boy. Really? Hit me with that country twang. Uh-oh. I'm just an old country boy who likes to do blow off hookers <laughs> but cracks. And I'm and I'm not talking about those dive hookers, no. I was talking about those ten thousand dollar an hour private escorts. Is this uh, the fucking YouTube music library shit yeah, or what? <laughs> yeah, this is where I was pulled from. Yes, dude, I did my uh, my April Fool's Day meme. I did a full Conway Twitty album that I covered. Mm, yeah, and clearly dead in the water <laughs> with the algorithm. Was just like, dog, what do we do with this shit? You know? Yeah, the algo's a mm. tough bitch. Yeah, that one got. I think that one got seventy nine percent fewer views than all the rest of my ten videos. Mm-hmm. Like in the statistics, the algorithm's a fucking bitch ass. <laughs> I hate that <laughs> algorithm. That's some shit. I hate it. It's some shit, but... All right, well, we're just going to sit here silently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hit me with that country, it's uh, so Twain. Close. This is what, like, a PBS pledge here we go. looks like. I just tried DMT <laughs> for the first time. I tripped major balls on my private airplane to Vegas. <laughs> I took a bite out of the pilot's neck and piloted it down, flipping <laughs> balls on DMT. <laughs> the policemen showed up the airport. I gave them each a million bucks to forget about it. <laughs> Are you an Italian country yeah. singer now? So you say you can sing. What the fuck? Oh yeah. I now, have, now you're the triple threat. I forgot threat. to tell you, I have the voice of an angel. Oh, so sleeper hits on me. Uh, here. I like that. You know how it is. Then, can you imagine Garth Brooks like? It's kind of like a new genre, like hip hop and um. Yeah, it's. Oh, this should be a total weird like flex, country <laughs> flex. <laughs> no, it is. It's called hip hop. That's what they call it. Hip hop. It's hip hop. Yeah, that's really? a lot of that yeah. shit now. It was that what that one guy was a part of that got bumped off the billboard. What the Lil Nas X or whatever yeah. the guy. Ian's an expert on all that. Yeah, what was that show? Uh, he was like an Ariana yeah. Stan account or some shit, or like. Ian, uh, please, c- don't let us uh, say something. Uh, Nicki Minaj Stan account, mm-hmm. deep cut. Dude, he did a um, genius video that has gotten this got like a fuckload of views. Really, got like five million views in a day. God damn, dude, those genius videos get stupid views. Yeah, the backpack kid was my favorite. Have you seen? Yeah, the oh, I thought. I was thinking of the flossing kid. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, that'll be flossing. Yeah. So <laughs> I was blown away with that, that, that that video existed. I just wonder why that shit's getting pushed so much. Some channels are killing it like nuts right now, and it's like th- that doesn't make sense. Like you... the Office YouTube channel and the Kitchen Nightmares YouTube channel are fucking slaying. T- TLC too. Oh All my the... god, it's ridiculous. So the only thing that matters, as far as I can tell, mm-hmm. is, I mean, thumbnail. And watch time. So, if you have a great headline, dude, like, these guys have so much to pull from, like, TLC and all these fuckers. Like, yeah. this fat fuck, this 600-pound <laughs> man's dad bathes him. And yeah. it's like, whoa. And they have, like, the craziest thumbnails, too, was, like, this huge dude with, like, uh, with like a dude washed him with dish soap. Yeah. And pouring Carl's Jr. cup over his head. And you're like, whoa, I have to click that. You got you can't not watch it. It's the so, same shit with the kitchen nightmare stuff. And half the <laughs> stuff is just recycled shit, you know? All of it. And it's like the the turnaround time is quick. Like one month you'll be like Gordon yells at the owner for bad pizzas, mm-hmm. and the next one is like, worst pizzas Gordon ever saw. Yep. It's like, what are you doing? You <laughs> totally, and the clip itself is ass. Like, it's it horrible. It doesn't live up to the title at all. It's horrible. I think the Kitchen Nightmares channel has 5 billion views on it. Wow. Ooh! Really? No! Holy shit. They're on trending all the time. No! And it's like, they'll get on trending for the exact same re-uploaded content they did a month ago. Nope. It's nuts. Gordon Ramsay is such a beast. Dude, that a beast. guy is a workhorse, man. He has like a million shows. That would stress me out. I couldn't be him. Look at his fucking face. He's yeah, like, dude. Oh, he's he's, so many he's still a hottie, though, dude. Yeah. He yeah. he looks he, better as he, he gets he older, just, too. I Look on their... I don't know how <laughs> some people do... <laughs> I maxed out. I can't go. Okay. <laughs> White ass eyes. Click is about. How do some people do that yeah. where they look better as they get money? Older? Oh, I lied. One point eight billion. Dude, not even. Mm-hmm. Close Sorry, just a playing. just a measly one point eight billion. <laughs> my bad. Well, he's got more views than me. That's true. Same on my here. Whole channel. So fuck my shit in my open mouth. Did you guys get a billion views yet? Yeah, we crossed a billion. Fuck yeah. When was that? It was a while ago, actually. But we haven't we haven't been posting that much on our main mm-hmm. channel. 
So I think we're at like 1.3 now. <sighs> Bunch of fucking losers. Right? But <laughs> between all of our channels, I think we're close to two billy. Really? I've had of my shit that's been stolen over. A, now it's it's probably over two billion views total for what? real. In stolen links, yeah. What you mean, like Facebook? How they get like Fa- ungodly views? Yeah, which are definitely inflated. <laughs> They're I'm like, talking. oh yeah, this video has <laughs> like yeah, two hundred million yeah, views. Yeah, what are you? <laughs> yeah. So it's like Facebook, Instagram shit, you know? Dude, that's a lot of views. It's a lot of views because I think on my main channel I don't even have two hundred million views total, and it's just like all my shit just gets stolen like huh. crazy. So what's the biggest? Theft incident that's happened to you. Um, like, well, I've I've had a lot of companies steal shit. World Star Hip Hop is a fucking scummy company okay. with stealing shit. They've stole a lot of my big videos. Nine gag, of course, no surprises there. Nine gag, nine gag, fucking so, but, lad Bible. Was there a specific one that had like s- like fifty million views or something? I don't. What my every cat at three a.m. video got stolen by. I saw two different links of it on Facebook with over 100 million views on each one. Oh! Uh, so, like... Yes! But that's the... No stuff. no credit? No credit. No never, mention It's never credit. Yet. And even if they do credit, it's like people think <laughs> they're like, bro, we're helping you out. It's like, no! Right, who? No, how many not... people are like, what a great piece of content. You know, Bob, who made that? Can we go <laughs> yeah. look at that? They don't give a fuck. Well, and also, By the way, they're profiting from they're it, They're profiting too. off of it. Yeah. Well, and YouTube, or Facebook's algorithm, they're such fucking slime bags mm-hmm. that if you put a link... To the YouTube channel, or to your Facebook page, even yeah. In the description of the video, they they won't share it. They won't. Yeah, they're like you no, have to only put it on in the side. comment. Yes, yeah. I mean that is, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, and the thing is, half the Instagram notifications I get are just people tagging me in seeing my oh, stolen man. content in the wild, and it's the same thing. Like. Now I have, I've made 560 videos, I think, and so many, like probably 300 of my videos are under 30 seconds, meme shit. Perfect. I'm not even in most of them. It's the most stealable shit ever. (laughs) So it's like, I will see different blips where I'll see like, oh, my TV for sale video got stolen. And then I expect, well, this next week, half my comments are going to be from other meme pages, ripping it from that Instagram meme page. So they think it's lesser quality. They don't even know who made it, like, at that point. They don't know Just who like, made it. It's 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 horizontal flipped. There's yeah. three watermarks on it, and it's <laughs> yeah. in, like, 144p <laughs> at that point. I don't, it's not even good content That's... for, like... It's just so fucking compressed, you know? That's got to be awesome when people put their own watermarks on your videos. <laughs> Love it. It's the worst ever, too, because, like, or in the early days, I used to hit up those, like, page admins and stuff and just mm-hmm. be like, yeah, excuse me, you can't do that, you know? <laughs> but, of course, these guys... They're like, fuck you. Yeah, their immediate thing is like, ha-ha, fuck you. Like, yeah. I had to stop doing that. I remember early on, like, I would I would confront these guys and just be like, hey, I need credit or I'll file a DMCA takedown, you know? <laughs> which, which again, I'm painting myself to be the idiot nerd character in here, but no, it's like, that's no, legal. It is. No, but, but because... Face, basically, it's all Facebook. Facebook and Instagram, who's owned by Facebook. Yeah. You are, they make you the idiot for trying to enforce your copyright. Yeah, they. you literally hit a dead end on Facebook and Instagram, where it's just like, report this video. Why? Copyright stuff. Who's infringed? I am. What's happening? They're using my thing. They're and like, then it spend goes, an hour yeah. filling this out. And, and once we'll, you get to the end, you can't even submit a report that goes, uh, they, they say, um, how would you click this guide and learn how to accurately report? <laughs> so it just says, it says, did this happen? This didn't happen, honey. This Why don't you just look at this? this? Didn't happen. It's like, fuck you, dude. Oh, I hate Facebook. You know, YouTube gets a lot of shit, but these, they're the only ones that are attempting yeah. to uh, be fair with mm. this shit. Yeah. Guys, can you please lock and load? Guys, I want what the fuck? some subscribers. We only need 100. Don't be cute and unsubscribe. <laughs> as I said that, we only need 120 subscribers. For fuck's sake, I have no interest in entertaining you guys anymore, and I am not going to try to entertain you. I am not going to pretend that there's any resemblance of entertainment going on here. I am leaning back at an 80 degree angle, <laughs> the same angle that this. Our, this is a mess. Dan and Ian, I'm sorry, you guys, but. You not only chose the confetti kind. There's straight glitter in this too. <laughs> this we have a vacuum, nightmare. Dan. How are you guys gonna? Yeah, are you guys do. gonna be okay? That's somebody old. You know, it'd be funny because there's an office. There's someone from the office that comes in and cleans. Yeah. Do <laughs> you, you think they go for it? I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> you just slip a fat hundred dollar bill on the door. Just like I'll put a twenty in the oh, pile. Oh, yeah. Oh come on. We pass. We pass nine. Okay, you motherfuckers. Go. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get a bagel if y'all don't. <laughs> if y'all don't get it. Do you have any plans to celebrate one million? Whoa. Um, I think whoa, there's my a heart just beat. My heart is fluttering. I'm 
I'm doing more of less what? of a big bang out video <laughs> and more of a oh guys 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 this is it oh no 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 oh come on we got another one well not my office so fuck it And, oh, it, that was really, really and it only together. took me since September 11, 2011. There we have it. You're blasting right by, man. Oh, boys. So, I mean, are you doing anything personal to celebrate? Like a meal, vacation, you're taking your girlfriend out? Well, I'll go out to dinner with my girlfriend. Um, I'll I'll toss back a cold one with my boy Eddie Burback. Subscribe to Eddie boy Burback. Yeah. Um, and I got a couple buddies from my hometown coming by tomorrow. Just some guys I see once a year. So it's just... I'm gonna I'm gonna upload thank this. You. Yeah, put put this like thank you video up for the million. Just kind of going by thanking different people in my life that helped me cool. get to this point. It's not a big. Are you gonna be thing. able to make a quick edit to add me into that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't shot it yet. <laughs> I will probably use yeah <laughs> that fucking image right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that to spend some good time with some good people in the next few days. That sounds cool. fantastic. Yeah, be nice, enjoy but, uh, it. Uh, it's thanks, a beautiful guys. thing. How do you feel right now? It's weird, honestly. Like. <laughs> Again, this is goal one and two for that's years so cool. now, and it happened the same day. Like, what are the fuck that's odds awesome. of that happening? So. Well, that's very flattering to hear. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. That's Thank really you guys sweet. for having me on. You're a sweet guy. You're a real talent. Subscribe. Y'all are hopefully subscribed. You know, uh, this is. We should just call this episode "Subscribe to Gus Johnson." <laughs> <laughs> Go, Mister Beast Mode, on that. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, thank you guys. I've been watching since uh, the air conditioner is sexist. That was my first one. Whoa! Oh yeah, yeah. That was a that was a good entry. That was back right after we, after we moved, moved to there. Israel. Really? Or we moved from Israel. We were at Isaac and yeah. Ariel's house. Yeah. Cool. It's a deep That's cut. Cool. Thanks for having me on, guys. Appreciate thank you, man. It. I thank appreciate you. the uh, appreciate that you washed our fucking yeah. shit. Hell yeah, dude! Thanks <laughs> for the bump, everybody too. H3 bump works. The army's out there. there. (laughs) The army's out there. They can mobilize quick. So to anyone who's thinking of, uh, I'm just saying (laughs) that we've proven here today that we can mobilize and quick. And I'm not saying that any of us own AR-15s, which are completely legal to own in most states. But what I am saying is that those are metaphorical weapons. Some of them may also have weapons. I don't know what they physically have in their house or not. But I'm saying that we metaphorically have the the ability and capacity and the will to mobilize quick and fast and furiously (laughs) and to march on any location. This is a threat. (laughs) (laughs) Just so you know. All right. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was fun, fun, fun times. A great cherished episode good memes all around yeah fantastic awesome awesome all right well have a great weekend Thanks, even though today's win- today is wednesday, wednesday. right it I'm is go eat a bagel i'm gonna go <laughs> chill at home i'm gonna play bloodborne Hey. I'm starting that. Oh, I, you did? I'm, I'm, we should compare notes. Uh, we should. I, I just am working on Stardew Valley 2. I got inspired by Bobby Lee's interview to check, check oh, that out. Mm-hmm. He's so funny. I'm fucking diving into Bloodborne because I want to do that before Sekiro or Sekiro. Or yeah, Sekiro, I'm so. doing the exact same thing. So you haven't started Bloodborne. I haven't started it yet. Started. I downloaded it last night. I've just been playing for like three days. The The beginning is, is so fucking annoying. But really? once you get past that... Then, then it gets much okay. better. Okay, I heard but there's I, a boss right right in the beginning that just fucks you. It's just like stupid. So I would just say, um, just just uh, grind out some levels. Okay. Yeah, don't get this hard. Just grind out some levels. I'll do it. Yeah, save up some blood, get the starting armor. That's big, and just grind out those levels. You know how it be. Right, Dan? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. There you have it. There you have it. So we've said it all. We've said it all. <laughs> Subscribe to the Gus and Eddie podcast, too. We do our own podcast. There you have it. Boom. There it is. That's all. Boom. All right. Shut her down. Shut her down. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.